What is up, everybody? I, I was this close to saying good morning. Good afternoon. What's up, everybody? Munzee, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Crash, I will say, the, 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 the numbers never, never, never actually tell the, the, the full story. Yo, Saki, what's up? Oh, man, how is everybody? Everybody have a nice turkey day? To those who celebrated the turkey day? To those who didn't celebrate the turkey day but possibly got work off as well, I hope you enjoyed that. My impurities have invited the forces of evil. You're, you're, I think you're looking for the, uh, the gentleman behind me. The Nick Zone. What's up, dude? I'm dark. How you doing, bud? Parker Peter, what's up, man? How's everybody doing? Uh, all right, two seconds, chat. Um, BG is not happy with... Oh, the camera might die if we do this. Hang on. This is going to be fun. You guys ready for it? Come on now. Nope. Nope. Mm. Is it cutting off your screen? I don't know, maybe I, it does feel like it's a much wider angle. Well, I did move it up so we could angle it down better. Hey, because I was trying to keep from hitting your screen, but it looks like... Are we good now? Mind you, mind you, this monitor on my screen is different from the one you can see, so. All right, cool. Sorry about that, chat. What's up, everybody? Have I found a new job as a dev? No, I am still a sysadmin. But, you know, we're getting closer to building a, uh, my, my, our, my first project ever, so I'll have something on the portfolio, portfolio here soon. Now, what's funny is, uh, realistically, my, my day job, um really picked up as far as what I was doing and then like I kind of switched back to some basic crap and I'm like in this weird bubble right now so the Nick zone and to any of our friends here that might be you know new to what we're doing oh wake up wake up quirk there we go there's a little blurb about us and our OS thanks to dark all right guys so we the plan is basically off stream i finished a couple of um particular things that we were working on on the back end we actually have one more thing that we need to update before we continue uh to trying to figure out how to use react um let's see here <clears throat> let's just go ahead and open up our code no i'm using ubuntu Oh, is this text too small right now? Oh, okay. All right, and I was like, I was like, can you not see it? Yeah, I just wanted Ubuntu. It was uh, more, more so just to uh, hit the ground running. Like my this this whole pr like diving into this project more so was just to get something up and running than really perfect my dev environment or anything in in that idea. And like just really to actually you know make something. Uh, Alright, let's get everything up and running. So I'll show you guys what we've <coughs> we've built, what we've built off stream. Um, we'll add the last little two bits, which is basically just a, an additional endpoint and updating our schema. And then we'll look into actually starting uh, starting to build the admin, you know, side of the front end. The admin portal. All right, so let's see. Make sure nothing's still running. Nothing perfect. Was everybody having a good weekend so far? EG and I have been playing way too much of Call of Duty, so. Way too much Call of Duty. Are you coming through on that when you do that? Uh, I don't know, am I? Oh, double check. Me? Hi. 
Yeah, you should be able to hear me. I okay. think I see my levels. I can't hear you, so that's why I was wondering, but... Well, you can hear me in real life. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, look at that sweet bald spot on the top of my head. <laughs> Sorry. You got a nice big old shiner back there? No, it's just where, you know, the what, what's that like point on your head where like all of your hair basically meets? Are you talking about like your widow's peak? Or are you talking about like where like the little circle is? The in circle the back? is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just being stupid. <laughs> yeah, come on, fingers. Thank you, the crown, yes. The base frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah there up. we go. God, that's such a simple word, it too. Really I don't is. know how... <laughs> This is why Chad is the best. They know everything. Yeah. yeah Hi, Munzi. How's it going? Hi, I'm Dark. By the way, hi, everybody. Crash, Tacoma Stack, Parkour Peter. Hi, guys. Nick Zone. Okay. Why is everything getting mad at me right now? I had a feeling earlier. <laughs> I'm going to have to actually reset my VM chat. I'm going to go Knicks. Yep. All right, hang on a second. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't go Knicks. Not yet, at least. All right, one second, guys. You know, it's funny. Is legit right as I was, like, getting ready, like, right before I went to go live, like, I was sitting here typing, working on something, I noticed, uh, noticed that it was acting up on me, and I was like, God, I hope that's just this, just, just, just this little bit here. No, no, uh, this is something that has happened to me before and drives me absolutely up the wall. I need a better location for that button. Um, all right. <laughs> cool. All right, let's see. Are you going to be a big pain in the ass or are you going to work? This is just a great way to start the stream, guys. Come on now. So it's DB Dev restart there we go that looks more like it you know what i would recommend austin hmm. i would recommend figuring out why that's happening yeah i i <laughs> I, I, I don't disagree so um, you don't have to do that every single time without knowing but it's up to you you don't have to do it right now obviously but... yeah no i i i well, here's the thing is like i don't know how to reproduce it that's that's the issue like it just happens like over like if, if the vm's up and running for a while it will happen randomly well i mean do you leave the process running in the background while the vm's running no you're just saying that after okay i'll have to look at it later yeah just after time with the vm's like if i'm con if i've been in the vm long enough and then i try like i've like either of like you know restarted the pro you know the, the process a couple times then i'll start getting that weird error and then it's just like well nothing wants to work now Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Just that that shelling and the peddling of the Knicks right there. Yeah, it's a good point though. Hell yeah, man! That's the that's the that's the team right there. You see those troubles you have right there? You wouldn't have them with us. You know, wouldn't you know what? That it, shit happened to me though. You know what is funny though, and I am starting to realize is like, especially you know, us being like a driving force of Knicks, we are probably going to slowly introduce through everyone else a culture of of literally that sounds like you need this. <laughs> We've become we've become the thing we hate the most. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, thank you for the follow. Um, what, what what's the line from Batman? Yeah, um, you either live long enough to become the villain, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever yeah that's that exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, we've we've created a movement. We 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 have no more control over. <laughs> uh that's funny. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I think Nyx is a good product. I, you know, <clears throat> once I'm a little more literate with a lot of things, um, I would be intrigued because I am intrigued by it, but, um, very intriguing. I think I'm going to have to upgrade my workstation version. Why? Just to get the latest like features. And oh, you're talking about VMware? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. I keep skipping it. <laughs> I don't keep skipping. I keep hitting remind me later. It's not like I've skipped multiples. Like I just haven't, up it's what 17, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I would upgrade it for us. Is it Imaphis? 
Is that how we say your name? Welcome, my friend. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> okay, cool. Listen, trying to get chat names right in itself is, is a process. So, I'd like to ask. Listen, we met one of our, like, just, it's, well, um, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll give it by the name that everybody calls him, Cotter. Oh, shit. We've yeah. known Cotter for ages through chat. We finally got to meet him at uh, TwitchCon, um, this most recent one. And I know we've had the conversation because he spells it with a K. It's K-O-D-D-E-R. And we've all, like, everybody in the community calls him Cotter, like all the streamers. And even at TwitchCon, we were calling him Cotter. And then he was like, you guys know it's Coder, but with a K. And we're like... I think everybody collectively went, oh, God, that's right. And you've told us that so many times, but we just call you Cotter. And yeah. He's Cotter now. And so that's why I like to ask before I just assume now. Because otherwise, I would have couldn't totally made up a name for you, and you would have had that indefinitely. So BFL Dev? Which is not a bad thing, but, you know. <clears throat> All right, chat. So what we need to do before we hop into React, um, we need just to make sure everything works. I'll show you guys what we've built. We need to add an additional endpoint. We actually need to update the schema and then add the additional endpoint. So um, what well, we know this works because we did it last stream. So let's go ahead and update the schema. Uh, game list. Games. Name. So we need to be uh, active. And this is going to be a boolean. Boolean. And um, we are going to, BG and I actually discussed this a little bit earlier, but we're going to make it a to-do so we don't go too deep down the rabbit hole of messing with this. Uh, add adds unique, which we will flesh out later when we actually need to use it. Save, save, save. Cool. NPX, Prisma. <coughs> Oh, I'd have to spell migrate, right? Jesus. M what am I doing wrong? Oh, I'm not here to change anybody's mind. I'm here to learn how to figure out how to do it. This is more like a fun experience. <laughs> yeah, that one's that one kind of failed fall, failed on you. Yeah, false daddy. But that's just because he's new. He he he, can't, he 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 legally cannot have an opinion. I yet. I, I, I cannot like literally like he doesn't have his friend in license yet. I yeah I, I'll get I, you know like how like you know nuns would like slap people in the wrists with like uh, rulers like way back when in Catholic school like it's something like that but with like you know much more heavier equipment. Uh, okay, so... Would you like swimming at the bottom of Erm Mamma Mia's French? <laughs> what? I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like I missed something, but I just thought that sentence was funny. I cannot type today, chat. Because you're dumb. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm <laughs> sorry. I gotta remember you're streaming. I can't, I, can't. I can't type in general, I know. I get that. You don't have to rub that one in my face. <laughs> To be fair, I work on a tiny ass keyboard at work and then like coming home, I need to get, I, I, honestly, I do just need to get a new keyboard I can bring from like my office here to my office at work. I need to reach to out to Jordan about that. Yeah, we really should. I'll, I'll reach out to him. Um, Actually, we need to, yeah. Anyway. Am I missing something here? No. I just was typing things wrong, probably. An enter name for this. We added, um, what do we say? We called this active. Game list. Boom. All right. So MPX, Prisma, Studio. See? Just the, the, the stupid fingers again today, guys. All right, let's get all the jitters out. Let's stretch it. Do a little jazz hands. Holy crap, why is that huge? Okay. 
I don't know if you guys couldn't see it before, but you should be able to see it now. Um, all right, game list. We should actually add a game list so we can see. Hmm. All right, well, why aren't you working? Oh, this is going to be a fun stream. Nothing just wants to work. Everything was hunky-dory like yesterday, and then today, now it's just going to be a bunch of middle fingers right to the face. Hmm. Oh, Mom, what's up? Shaxford, I think? Shaxford? 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 up devil void what's up man how's it going are, are the x's actually pronounced or are they like censoring something or like modifying something mm. i'm just trying <laughs> <clears throat> all i can do um yeah hydrate there team wasabi oh okay. well fortunately for me i got a big old bottle of water right next to me chat beckons you okay so me adding the active is breaking everything so you know what you know why i do not know why just yet read the error eh. <laughs> <laughs> property active is missing in type name string but required Okay. Yeah, Nest is nice enough to give you pretty helpful errors, and that's TypeScript too. So, do you know what the error is saying? Uh, not fully. I'm working my way through this. What do you void, what's up? What do you think it's saying so far? I'll help you through. Well, I know that I don't have like the type described for what I need for this thing, and it's and it's needed, right? Yes. Where is it needed? Uh, that's I'm guessing the line that I'm at here, where the error is at. But I'm I'm trying to work my way through that. Is there an easier way for me to f discover what I'm missing here? Um, list service 37.7. No, you're right. Yeah, that's right. Backseat gamer. I mean, hey, this is a, this is a bit of a required backseat help. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you can either watch him stumble around it for 45 minutes. See, this is this is why I enjoy the stream without <laughs> being around chat. Normally, we can just have a nice conversation and, <laughs> and, and not listen to this mumbo jumbo. Listen to this all this time. <laughs> um, hey, you know what we can do? Actually, it's true. It is your stream. If you wanted to mute yeah, me, shut you could. the <laughs> up. Um, no. Um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, I'm just crashing. No, you're, you're you're good. You're you're fine. I do want to do that's this, right though. there that uh, is correct there what what you, what you had before what do you mean what i had before like what you have right now is fine for that yeah it's not going to fix the error though right no no not. yeah didn't think so um although you may have introduced a new one i don't know why it's giving you red light red squigglies because it put itself in uh two parentheses Thank God that wasn't like a bigger like oh moment. Um, <sighs> Deep Jiminy Cricket. Never mind. Uh, property active is missing in type name string, but required in type gameless create input. Um, I don't know why I'm just blanking here, Chad, as to how I need to fix this. Um, ooh, you were not supposed to go tiny. What do you think you're doing? Yo, what's up, guys? I don't have control over that computer. I'd have to get up and walk over to the stream machine and just mute his microphone. And and unfortunately for for for, for you guys, I could probably get rid of the mystery voice of BG, but I would still unfortunately be able to hear him. So it's a it's a it's a lose lose situation. Um, okay, so let's let's read this completely out here. Um, the Wicked Family, thank you for the follow. 
Oh, the mighty command wall. You know what's funny, Dark? I'm Dark. We just pruned that like a couple days ago. The Nick Zone, thank you for the follow as well. Yeah, so a bit of an explanation. If you guys are new here, um, I am one half of the Alt F4. That, that, that voice that you heard earlier, which I'm about to probably hear again, say hi. Hi. <laughs> you, you asshole. <laughs> <clears throat> There's two of us. There's me on the weekends learning how to figure all this stuff out, and then you have the absolutely initiated, you know, just jerk off behind me here. Uh, no, uh, BG knows what he's doing. He's been in the industry for a decade plus now, and I am, I am, I am fortunate. I don't know, maybe that's a stretch in a word, but fortunate to have him as. He doesn't a, like uh, giving me compliments, Chad. He knows they go to my head. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> like, like, I truly mean these things, but if I say them out loud, it becomes a problem. You know, like. All right, so um, let's see. Property active is missing in type name string. So if we come back to the gameless service where this error is at, and that, come on fingers, and that's line 37, what is required in type? All right, so I'm still just a little lost here. Do I have to add it into this? Does it need, does this need? Expected type comes from property data, which is declared here on type select game da, 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 data without. Okay. I love this song, by the way, chat. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Uh, what do we call this? Adjustments to active. I don't know why, but that song reminds me of something from like when I was a kid, and I don't know what it is. Okay, so did that do the trick? Yeah, no more errors. We're not mad. Okay. So now we can actually get down here and add the the true or false to that. I'm just going to copy these two bad boys here. <clears throat> and we'll talk to, we'll do this as active. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on, fingers. Active true. Oh, damn, this is for... Okay, that's why it's not working. This needs to be game list. Prisma.game list, update. And the game list is not going to have a raw GID. It's going to have its own individual ID. So we need to change you to uh, list ID which you are going to be a number uh, where ID is list ID. There we go. Data needs to be active. Why are we not getting any of the info I need here? Tesla engineer, er, thank you for the follower. I added an extra R to follow, reading your name, realizing there's an extra R there. My God, my brain acts weird sometimes. Thank you for the follow, though. I mean, glad we could enjoy that moment together. A piz? A 
Pizfif? A Pizf? How do we, <laughs> thank you for the follow. How do we say your name? I'm I'm completely butchering it, I know. I'm sure my noggin's blocking out the code that we're working on here. Um, let's just delete this for right now because that's still not working. Um you know what? We're gonna we're gonna rewrite this whole thing because the copy pasta there uh, appears to have gotten me in some trouble. All right, so toggle active true. We're going to need list ID, and that's going to end up being a number. Um, return await this dot prisma dot game list. We want to update it. Yep, update. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, like that 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 makes sense like after it said. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I've always been a big fan of the underscore, but like I, I'm the kind of person that adds like commas to everything more than it's needed to. I, 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 I add the to the beginning of everything that I want to have announcement to. And he's, yeah, as he's bitching about it, how many compliments have we gotten about the stream? Oh my god, so <laughs> We've, we've, we've had it a few times. We've had it a few times. We're like, ah, oh, man, I really love the name. I'm building a project called uh, MGRC, Monthly Game Release Calendar. So basically, long story short, long, long time ago, and I was in a city far away at the time, uh, BG, myself, and another friend of ours created this channel, and it was a means for us to play. We Basically, the only way we were able to keep in communication being so far apart from one another is we played games. And we figured, you know what, might as well stream it because, like, you know, if we make a couple bucks here and there, we can buy more games and, you know, keep it, you know, low key. And and that little project completely morphed into the monster that it is now. And I um I have dove headfirst into learning. Actually, this is my first project, so I've dove headfirst into learning how to do this. And we're trying to kill a couple birds, you know, with with a single stone, essentially, if we want to say it. So. The idea of, the, of this is, is my first project, and it's besides just a basic static website, actually learning how to, you know, build a, build a, you know, a full, you know, a, a full back end and front end application all together. And it's also going to help encourage us to bring gaming back to the stream. And while we're going to be predominantly a coding stream, um, the idea of this is, is we will once a month uh, have a page for you guys to vote on. We're going to pull um, data from Raji. If you guys do not know what Raji is, it's a basically just a big video game database. And the idea of it is, is we're going to pull the following month's games. We're going to curate a list down to about four, six to nine, depending on how many games are coming out that month. And let you guys vote for the game that we'll do like a big premiere on. So the week that the game is released, either, you know, release day or um, that fall, that weekend, depending on the schedule, we'll do like a big, you know, game stream around there. And if you guys want to see more, we'll play it through the following month until the next game, or if we all collectively collectively agree the game sucks, then you know we just saved everybody you know seventy dollars. Long story short, I didn't realize I was muted. Well, you weren't trying to talk, were you? Uh, I think when you were telling me to. Oh. All right. So, um. Why am I not seeing active? Active is here. Uh, ID created at games, yada yada. It's just not updating over here. Um, why are you mad? I don't know why it's mad, chat. All right, so there we go. List is created. 
We'll hit up our cousin F5 here. Active. Perfect. It is false automatically. I do want to see... Oh, we need to add a... You go away. You get grabbed. We go to our controller. See another follow from name failed. Why isn't it working? Yeah, so it's it's basically, you know, it's 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 a project that I wanted to get made and you know, it's something, you know, I had in, in mind that was feasible to build and I've learned a lot. I have learned a whole lot to be honest with you in the last couple what, like two months we've been working on this. And to go back to, um, you know, uh, I'm Dark's uh, question is like, did I get a dev job? Like, no, but these, you know, these are still the steps I'm taking towards being able to do so. You know what I mean? Like actually understand what the hell I'm doing. That's a huge part of it. And that's been... That one's been fun to figure out. Um, all right, so what do we need in the body? We need list ID. Um, and list ID is going to be a number. Return. Wait. This dot game list service dot. We call this toggle active. True. There we go. Dot. Oh, no. Nope. And then here we want to stick list ID in, and there we go. And what are you getting mad at? Cannot find item list ID. Any. Oh, I'm a dummy. Okay, let's see if this works. If this works, and we can legitimately actually move on to what the hell we wanted to do today. Imagine that, us actually being able to do what we want to do. Mm, let's see, raw, JSON, uh, list ID, and this is going to be just one, I believe. No, two. That's right, because the first one failed when we tried to do it. Um, how do I do the numbers in this? Yeah, I'm doing that wrong. Need bracket. Okay, that's what I'm messing up. Okay, so... List ID. And this is going to be two. Um, and this is, uh, oh, we need to actually, and this is going to be target active true, right? Yep. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, what do you say? What do you say? Do you want to work? You do want to work. Perfect. There we go. Okay, chat. There we go. One more of these, and it will be the false version, um, and we will be on our way to actually starting the React nonsense. Sorry, this is one of those little things that I was thinking about right before I went live. I was actually, it's one of those things I thought about while, you know, sitting in the shower thinking about the stream. And that moment where you just have, like, all the time in the world, and then you don't. Uh, declarate. Wait, where are you getting? Oh, that add an additional. Yeah, I did. Boop, boop. Okay, so there's that. Let's come up here. You're going to be false. False A. And you need to be false as well. Anybody got anything fun going on this weekend? <clears throat> anything exciting? All right, 
nothing wrong there, nothing wrong there. Now let's ask Mr. Postman nicely to duplicate this. Yeah, I've been watching the World Cup too. Man, I wanted Mexico to win so bad. <laughs> France game was good though. France, uh... Yeah, the, uh, the next month? U.S. game is what, on Monday against Iran? Tuesday. Yeah, Monday or Tuesday, one of the two, yeah. It's I watched one most one of that England one. game. All right, cool. All the endpoints are working, doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So, realistically, chat... Yeah, sadly, Mexico lost. They did a really, really good job at defense in the first part, but, like, if you look at the statistics, Argentina had it for 60% of the game, possession, and then their defense most of it. So they just got stuck in defense, and then Argentina got a, a, a goal, and then that was it. They just locked it down. It happens. Yep. It's a strategy. But, I mean, Mexico had, like, a impenetrable defense wall. Are they out of the, very, the running now because good. of that loss? Uh, I think so, yeah. I don't know, like, what the bracket's looking like right now. Yeah, I think they are. I think they are, actually, yeah. I All think right, so, yeah, you're not line, getting mad though. at me anymore, are you, TypeScript? I'm trying to reboot you. All right. Seriously, though, it really has. Especially if you're not, like, I'm... I'm just now getting into soccer more, or sorry, football more. Football. Sorry, stupid American. Um, football more. Um, mostly, I actually got into it because of a TV show called Wrexham um, that I watch a lot. Oh, not not the uh, not the other soccer show. What other soccer show? Uh, uh, God, what's it? I forget what it's called. It's um. What was the soccer show you guys were watching? That was like Major League. That's right. Ted Lasso. Oh, Ted Lasso. Yeah, I mean Ted Lasso for sure. Yeah, Dear Say and I were watching Ted yeah, Lasso. Yeah, sorry. My brain like I was like I was like I could I I see his face and I was like I could not remember the name of the show. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, uh watched a lot of uh Have I started I, well, no, I played soccer when I was a kid or I played football when I was a kid. Soccer Hello football. I want to call it, I want to use the right San word. Diego. JS, uh, is it Carito? Yo, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, the Saudi Arabia one was, that was interesting. I mean, it's honest to God, like this year for sports across the board, there has been just some radical changes on like a lot of teams that like you just would not expect. At least from what I've noticed. Except for, you know, hockey. My, my, my boys are still doing good in the uh, NHL. Okay, guys, so, yeah, the back end's pretty much up and running. Um, I guess we can test everything real quick to make sure everything's still working since we ran into those bugs a second ago, but I think we're good. So let's... Um... All right, so we've already created a game list. Let's actually... Um... Yeah, this is what we want here. That's still for January, so that should pull all of January's game releases to at once. We're looking good. <laughs> Dog. So does, has anyone here watched the IT crowd? Because I'm not going to lie, like, I kind of felt like Moss in that moment where they're like, yeah, it was a good game. <laughs> Because <laughs> I just, but, I'm so new to this stuff. What's like, his line that he uses? Oh, I forget. What is that line? Yeah. I, anyone, because I, I watched a video where somebody actually did that in real life and it worked out for him. And it was just the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Okay. So there's our games. Um, oh, that is the wrong one to be showing you guys. There we go. There's the proper alt tab. Don't you be talking about my West Ham that mm -hmm. way. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, we'll get individual game detail. Does this still work? Because we're going to need to use that in a little bit. Yep, that works. Uh, gather list we'll use later. Create game list we've already done. Um, game list update. I believe that is, yeah, we're able to add games to the list with this. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to add uh, whatever game that is to the list we have now, 302, 303. That's on the list here. 
Bam, bam, boom. Take a look at our game list. Refresh you. Scroll on over. Yep, that's added. All right, so everything is working. So I guess this is where the interesting thing is going to start happening, chat. We're going to have to figure out um, actually building something in React now. Come on now. All right, so... I guess we should still... So BG, what's the best way? Should I like have this like all in the same like 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 completely separate the two, like in two separate folders, yeah. like like file structures? Yeah, yeah. Whole new repository. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would suggest at least, right? Have a back end repository and a front end repository. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Mcdur, we're gonna call this MGRC. Front end. Oh, come on, fingers. You can do better than that. There we go. And, uh,. I almost called you Chariot Witch, and then I realized that that is not Chariot, and my brain just jumped to the wrong thing. How do you say that? Sayot? I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm completely butchering it, we had this conversation earlier. I will. I'm, I tend to do that. So if I am, let me know, please. And by the way, guys, to all of our new followers out there, I'm probably going to keep repeating it. That magic voice you keep hearing is my co-host of the stream. There are two of us here. You can catch me, the newbie, the greenhorn, uh, learning how to code on the weekends, and then during the week, usually between uh, the starting hours of nine or eight a.m. and ten a.m. Pacific Standard, between uh, Mondays, Friday, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you've got BG. Say hi, BG. Is your mic on? Hi, BG. There you go. There you go. Um, all right. So let's learn how to uh, react, chat. I did a little course yesterday, uh, built something with it. We'll see how much I actually learned. That's always the real question. All right. This is going to be fun. This is going to be um, so new to me uh, that uh, if I look like a complete fool, you're welcome. All right, so let's see. Create React app. React app. It is a, a comfortable environment for learning React and is the best way to start building a new single page app application or application in React, which is what we're planning on doing. Uh, let's set up your development environment so that you can use the latest JavaScript features, provides a nice developer experience, and optimizes your app production. You'll need to have Node greater than... Yeah, we already do. We already do. Um, and so let's go ahead and do it. npx create react maybe if I spell it right, chat, app and what do we want to call this? Uh, MGRC for an end, right? All right, and as it's taking its dear sweet time, why don't I use Vite? I don't even know what that is. Like I said, you're 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 dealing with somebody that's absolutely. Ignorant to ninety nine percent of what's what we're gonna be doing. Uh APIs the reality of it is is he doesn't even know what that is. That's what I just said. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I just caught up. Yeah, it's just <clears throat> I think a lot of people tuning in to this stream, which is a big difference than like my stream, is like I normally take a look at like all of the differences and you know all that stuff um here it's more you Figuring know it out. Fu fu yeah well i'm not even feeling it out but foundational right like 
what is a component like how do components work why do you have components you know so it's right now it's not so much about vite or uh you know webpack or whatever it's just whatever he can do to start learning the technology you know what i mean <laughs> later on he'll improve and and make it so that uh yeah, I need like a giant like sign above me that just says baby coder. Like right <laughs> above the name. Just 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 pulsating above me and just flashing so you guys can go, oh, oh look how adorable he is. Uh see, create React app doesn't handle back end logic or databases, which we've already built. It just creates a front end build pipeline so that you can use with any back end you want. Under the hood, it uses Babel and Webpack. You don't even know anything about them. Uh okay. Um Oh, is that all you're gonna give me? What all do we have in here? Is there anything even in the in these? Oh, hang on. Okay, let's see. All right, so there is some basic stuff they give us in here. Um, yeah, Chad, I really thought that they were going to give me a little bit more uh, um pow pow there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what are you giggling about? I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on. What up, Zummy? Okay, so creating. There we go. Um. Well, did I already screw up by not like uh? Using the TypeScript uh, template. Okay, I see what all this is. All right. Um. Oh, this one's gonna be. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun stream chat. Your boy's just gonna be sitting here looking slack jawed until something clicks. Um, just woke up. How's life uh, going for y'all? Not too shabby, Zummy. We're uh, we're doing we're doing we're doing all right. I am probably gonna get up and grab a coffee, my other coffee, real quick, and then we're gonna jump into this. Um, yeah, give me two seconds. I'm gonna grab a coffee and we're gonna hop into this. Yeah, I'm a dumbass chat. I thought there was two. I'm pretty sure I drank the other one, and when I looked at it earlier and I grabbed it, I think I just saw the sriracha bottle next to it, and I was like, oh, those are there's two in there. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. Okay, so, um, I CD'd way too far out. Oh, one more folder. One more folder, chat. There we go. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. So now we basically need to start editing what they've given us here into what we need. Well, this one's going to be a fun one. I haven't messed with front end stuff in a minute. Um, we no longer need you. We do need the terminal though. So let us... Um, Oh no, we need to do, uh, it is, uh, here we go. Eh, I didn't go deep enough again. Um, okay. So, let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, I mean, I know you're just waking up, but like, oh man, I'm, I'm, I, I probably should have gotten up a lot earlier and just drank a lot of caffeine for this.
All right, so let's actually look at this. Um, Index.css, app.css, app.js. So this is what we're actually looking at here. Please tell me you are not ending. Oh, no, no. We've, we, you, you, you got at least... Good show. All right, good it's time show. to go, guys. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs> No, we are literally just getting into the thick of it. So this is going to be fun. All right, so index.js, I'm guessing, is... Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. In my morning uh, news scroll and checking on my socials, I'll be getting my caffeine lunch and catching up on my weekly anime. Ooh, what you watching? BG and I just caught up on the most recent disturbing episode of Chainsaw Man last oh, night. God. Oh, God. James Harries, thank you for the follow. I was not ready for that. Yeah, I was not either. Especially because, like, we were kind of eating. <laughs> yeah, I like, we had literally probably just finished eating when, like, the very gross scene happened in this most recent episode, and we both kind of looked at each other like, oh, man. Uh. What's up, my dude? I am just chilling. What's up, James? Gonna be learning, uh... Learning the reacts today. Uh, Spy X family is... Gr I haven't seen that yet. Uh, we learned about the bootstrap grind this morning. Oh, fun, fun. Okay. Um, so, BG, let me ask, like, if I'm... If how I'm looking at all of this here. Um, what's the difference between the index.js and the app.js here? The app.js is actually what's rendering on screen here. That's our single page. And would the index.js be where we pull the... the... Ah, okay. This is a fun but confusing concept. So, um, in any type of... Yeah, just five letters. So, any, in any type of application, you have this concept of the entry point to right. it. Right. You have an index.js. You have a, you know, uh, whatever, index.php, whatever, right? But the, the, it's the entry point to the application. What Nest does is it says or i'm sorry not nest what 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 this like thing does here essentially uh create react does react app does is index.js is the true root and you can see that by uh do they not have a go to public the public folder just open the public folder mm -hmm. and then click on index.html now, if you look at this page, we should see somewhere an import for index.js. And if we don't, then it's just going to get injected manually, which is fine. Okay, yeah, it's going to get injected. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is the true entry point of your website, this right? Index.html. Yeah, okay. yeah. But what happens when you like mix languages together, you have multiple entry points, right? You have the entry point for your front end. You have the entry point for, you know... Uh, your web page, right? Or your, your actual JavaScript code. And so mm -hmm. index.html is the entry point for the browser. That's the thing that actually goes to start to load your front end, right? Okay. And then index.js is the entry point for all of the JavaScript on the page, right? Okay. Now, when we talk about React, React itself is just a portion of all of the JavaScript on the page, right? So when we click on index.js, you're going to see import React, import React DOM, right? Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we're essentially stitching everything into place here. And we're saying, okay, well, we actually have one other entry point, and that is our app entry point, right? And the app entry point is where all of our front end logic is going to go. So index.js is really used as kind of like a middle area where you say like, okay, I'm importing this via index.html. And then I'm going to set up React here, but then I'm going to import app.js and everything at React related will, will go in that. So you have three separations here. So this is like a staging ground. No, it is. It is. They all work together to give you your front end. The index.html loads the index.js, and in the index.js, you find the root on line seven, right? Scroll over to the right a bit so you can see more of that. And see that document, no, keep going. Yeah, see that get document element by ID, mm -hmm. right? Go to the index.html. ID root here. You see root there? This one here? Yep. Yep. 
So that's what's happening is, is this the page loads first via HTML. And then when the JavaScript is loaded, index.js, okay. right? Then it says, okay, cool. Click on it. It says, okay, cool. I want to create a React DOM root. I'm going to find the element and then I'm going to render my whole app in that root. In that, okay, that makes and, sense. And what we don't want to do is, is we don't want to flood this index.js file with like a bunch of, you know, Imports React app and, shit. Yeah. Right? So we then have an app.js where all of that goes. Okay. Yep. Okay. That makes some sense. So, Plisky, the reason why you can't see that is, is because it's injected at build time. So, yeah. That's why you can't. Look at that. 35 fantastic months. Seriously. Just a, a, a core staple. We appreciate you. We are learning uh, React. And we're going to be... We've already built the back end, or at least a portion of the back end that we need to start working on the front end now. We are learning React today, yeah. And I'm, I'm here to help. It's a what's up, by the way. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Hi. I mean, it's Somni, but hi, Somni. Or no, no, it's not Somni. Felix. It's uh, Felix, my bad. I always I always do that. I <laughs> always do that. I just, I, I, Felix and Somni are basically the same person to me. I love you both equally. You're like my children. I mean, <laughs> honestly, like we can, we can, I, I think we can give nicknames and change the names the way we see it now, right? We can always just put in, in quotations, Felix, so that <laughs> you, you, you don't confuse the two. Felix, what's up? What about you? Well, I mean, I love all of all of our all of our family equally. Yeah. <laughs> and also you, you don't have a different name in the Discord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know who you are, USMC chat. <laughs> we, we're pretty easy that one's a pretty easy one to identify. Oh look at who got that gifted Ooh. sub as well. D Rod? Are you hiding out there? Drod. I was thinking about that the other day. Chat, we were we were playing games with D-Rod like, oh, God, this is a long time ago. I remember hopping in the Discord, and I'm like, who the hell's this Drod guy? And I'm like, oh, never mind. That's, that's D-Rod, the person that we've hung out and played games with and met in person. And See, now you're just going to confuse the ever-living hell out of us if you're going to change your name. All right, chat. So let's. Uh, I guess. I, I guess we need to kind of like plan out what we need for this, right? As opposed to just jumping in. Um. I'm just gonna hide the screen for a quick second. Open up something. You know, that's it, guys. I'm gonna change my name too. I'm no longer a Tota. We're gonna find a different name. You know, it's funny as I wasn't like super married to this name and and like in like in love with it until like we started streaming and then we we're just like, well, what's your name gonna be? I'm like, I guess we'll just go with the Tota and and it's it's that's it from you know here on out now. Okay, so what are we? What, how how are we how are we gonna want to do this? Um. Is that one of the cats? <laughs> one of the cats is just talking away downstairs. All right, chat. So f basically what I'm thinking is I have... Well, that was not... You're supposed to make a shape. That's why I gotta like drag it out. That's why I forget. I don't know how to use this. You can ignore me. So what we need um, right now is we're gonna need to be able to create a list. Um, we're gonna be able to do a couple things here. So let's see. Create list. Oop, that's not what we want to do. Go on now, get. All right, so we're gonna want to be able to create a list. Um, I 
And we should probably make it with a legible uh, font so that uh, not only I can see it, but you guys can see it too. MGRC front end. All right, so first thing, first, you know, first things first, we're going to need to have to create a list. So that's going to be, we've already got like, and everything that we're going to be naming out that we need the front end to do, we already have the, uh, the endpoints for. So, um, hang on, let's look at, let's get a chat real quick before we get, dive into this. Uh, did I see the new desk layout? No, is that in the Discord? Look at you, look at you setting up that, that, just that shameless plug for the Discord. Um, I won't have to take a gander at it. Where'd you post it in? Um, there we go. We don't have like a, we, we almost need like a, like, like a section in our Discord where people can just show off their games and stuff or their, their gaming rigs or their battle stations. I will give it a gander. <coughs> Ooh. Pardon. I was like one spot in my throat just got super dry all of a sudden. Um, let's see. It's funny you say married to that name. That's how I got my name. I was married to a Marine for 15 years, but then I didn't want to change my online presence. So it just kind of, it, it, just, it, it happens. It happens. Uh, I had a super cringy name and Blizz wanted a name. So I chose MC Hammer Knife. And this is, uh, this one is just a 21 Savage reference. That makes no sense now. I, I get it. That's honestly why I was kind of content with sticking with a Toda. Because it actually has some meaning behind it. My actual name is Austin Tab. So those are my initials. And then my initials backwards and in the middle is just a crying face. And it used to be my DJ name. So my DJ name used to be Ada. But most websites doesn't uh, don't want you to use underscores, so it became a Tota. Nothing super special, so I don't hate the name. It's better than like my original, you know, like screen names from way back when. All right, so we need to be able to create a list. We need to gather monthly <laughs> list. I used to DJ, yeah. It's been years since I did it. Part of me would love to get a set of turntables again, but like, I'm actually probably going to end up buying a set of keys here soon and, and, and trying to learn how to play the, uh, learn, learn a little piano. All right, so we need to be able to gather the list. Um... Realistically, I think I think for some of the just the the things I want to try to knock out easily. I mean, I guess we can list out everything we need to do, but what I would want to try to get done today, or at least attempt today, uh, game details, individual game details. Are hey, you slapping them keys over there? How are you only typing like seventy words a second when you sound like that? 70 words a second, 70 words a minute. Dude, did you did you see the video I posted of the guy with the care recorder doing like 500 yeah, words a I've minute? Seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sideways hat, baggy pants. You can yeah, I, I can. Were they were they were they were they were they like saggy jinko jeans? Yeah, but maybe no, maybe one day we'll 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 have a set of turntables and and do a DJ stream. <laughs> I'll need have really loud speakers in the office, so I think it would drive BG nuts. I have to be able to hear the music to actually like have fun with it, like feel it. All right, so we need to create a list, uh, gather the monthly list. Um, what are you giggling about over there? 
I'm just a shady bitch. That's all I gotta say. Oh, we knew that about you. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna need a button to update. So actually, let's let's do this. Let's look at all the. Let's let's go to our controller. Uh, here we go. Alright, so we need to be able to, okay, so um, gather monthly list, which is going to be actually, uh, it's called game create. So we'll do that. Let's see, game create, game list create is what this is. Sorry, chat. You're gonna have to bear with me as I type all this out and figure it out. Oh, you're gonna copy by color. All right. And now you're broken in that color. There we go. Game let's create. Game list update. Yep. So move these down. Why is there an arrow connected to you guys? We didn't even do. Where did that arrow come from? All right, so uh, update list. We call this game list update as the endpoint. Um, so that's actually going to be on a different controller here, which is this one. And that's game details. All right, so we know what that is. We'll do that separately. Move you here. Go back to our game list uh, controller. <clears throat> and we're going to have like all the individual small like uh, things that we're going to do. And so. Alright, so we actually need to do this one. Da -da -da, ba -ba -ba -ba, call you here. And we have gather list, which is what we're going to be able to look at an entire list is how this is. And that is, and that's the first thing we have here. You just have to bear with me, guys, as my brain. Starts to piece together how we want this to look and how it's going to work. Now I'm going to have to resize all of these because I'm going to be mad that it's not the right size. Come on now. Sorry, chat. All right, so we got this button here. That's going to be there. Update the list individually from the games. Um... That's going to be something branching off of this. No. Actually, yeah. This is going to branch off from there like that. This will be a branch off of it as well, so that we can actually update the list from there. Um, we want to update YouTube URL. Delete that one. There's a arrow running off of you for some reason as well. There we go. Uh, let's see. Update list, which is here. That's going to be a button off of the individual game list. That will also be branching off of um, just... Yeah, that makes sense. Game list update, YouTube update, uh, toggle winner, tar toggle archive. That's going to be on the individual game, so let's go ahead and copy you a couple times. One. I think we need six of these. Four, six. And, yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to be a whole lot to fight with. Call this toggle winner true. 
can actually get rid of the nonsense underneath because we know that's going to be that. I love this playlist, by the way, chat. And this is going to be archive. This is if we know we're going to delete the game out of the list. Archive. And you go back to where you were. Copy you. All of you here. I know this isn't the most fun, guys, but we're almost there. I have to do these things so I don't build stuff out of order and then get absolutely frustrated and not know where I'm at. If I give myself a game plan or kind of a, a the the shining star to know what direction, my north star, this is basically it. Oh, I'm your north star. That's so sweet of you to say. You can <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you heard him say it, chat. You heard it here. Uh, all right, let's catch up with chat because I didn't say anything. What am I using for the HTTP required decorators? Or, uh, or like the request decorators? We talked about, I'm using Nest here. Is that, is that, I'm hoping that's answering the question properly. EG, do you understand that question better than me? From Dark Row, or Doc, no, not Dark Row, Jesus. I would imagine he means Nest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All good. <laughs> it's like, I, I think we're on the same page. Yeah, I, I think say, they I just might so not too, be yeah. seeing it. <laughs> yeah. All good. All right. So let's get back to. Yeah, that happens a lot, Dark, uh, to be honest with you. I. I have gotten in many conversations where I've even gone, I've gotten into arguments where somebody thought I was talking about nest or next, sorry. And mm -hmm. I was talking about nest and I'm like, and then they're like, well, why don't you just have your back end and your front end together? And I was like, with nest. And then they're like, Oh, I, I thought you meant next. I'm like, no. Listen, I, I, I read, I went down the rabbit hole of documents thinking I was reading yeah, the right Yeah, literally thing. what Dark said, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead. But no, no, like, like I went down the, the rabbit hole of reading a doc, like thinking I was in the right direction, and I was reading a next <laughs> JS doc that like made sense in the beginning of where I started, and by yeah. the time I got really deep, I was like, I don't know what the hell this thing's talking about, and then I'm like, oh, oh, this is not what we're working on. That's good stuff. Ooh, look at those 10 wonderful months. Welcome. Thank you. I'm loving all the resubs today. It's, make, it's making me feel loved. See Anne Horn. How's it going? I like, see, that's, that's again, like, the name is, like, structured well enough for us to at least try to get a guess at it. Oh, no, I have a trick. I go through, uh, I, I've asked them for their name before, well, so I, I just I, go I through the have. chat history. Well, I was going to say, I, 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 I know that. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Zian Horn. No, no, like, but there's, but it's, it, it, it's float enough for us to kind of get a, a good guess there. Yeah. Well, I, I, well, I will say this, too. I've, whenever I tell somebody I'm never going to mess up their name again, I normally, nine times out of ten, will make some kind of note somewhere. <laughs> Yep. So that I, I have it for in the future. Seems like y'all have done this a few times. What do you use when you want to deploy a backend? Uh, test out an idea. I'm asking because I just finished MVP for an app I wanted to uh, I wanted to make and have no idea on how to deploy backends. Oh, listen, this is my first rodeo hey. at this. Uh, the one you want to talk to is the, the, the imaginary voice behind me. Hi. <laughs> you can see me raising my hand. It's all him. CGI. It's fake. Um, yeah, dark. Um, so, and anyone just tuning in uh, and you don't know me or don't recognize my voice. Hi, I'm BG. Uh, I'm the other half of the Alter 4 stream. Um, as as Atota said, I've been a DevOps. I, I work in DevOps. So, like, you're asking literally the right person. Um, I've been in the game for a while. And, uh, yeah, I've got a few opinions about that. Um, yo, Pimpla, how's it going? 18 months. months. Thank you. Eight, thank you. Thank 18 you. months, Pimpla. How you doing? Um... 
So yeah, let me read it again just so I got it clear. Uh, it seems like y'all have done this a few times. What do you use when you want to deploy a backend uh, to test out an idea? So I'm going to go ahead and take what you're saying, not so much as like how to deploy something, but just like you want to make a prototype, what would you make it out of? I think that's more of what you're saying because you talk about an MVP and stuff like that. Um, or are you talking about just the deployment process? I guess well, would be I, I my think question. they've. I think they have their MVP. Yeah, I didn't ask you. Ooh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I yeah, no, they do. From what I could tell, they do. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Spicy stream today. That's what you get when you put both of us on camera together. Yeah, it's dangerous. That's usually. just that's just a normal Tuesday for a Toto and I. It's always spicy around these parts. Okay, so now that you're talking about tech, I think yeah, I think we're on the same page. Um To what? To denoso? What is that? Do I know what that means? I don't know if I know what that means. I got no idea what's going on. How do I change the damn color of the arrow again? I always forget how to do that in this. There we go. It's the actual line. What does that mean? I don't know what that means, USMC check. Um, I used a railway for... Are you, are, uh, how do you not know what... Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I guess I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, are we are we googling it or is this I like tried a, or is this it. like I a ligma pull anything thing? Up. Uh, I'm sorry, I've failed you. I don't know. Um, so I've used Railway for my database Postgres. So uh, and my backend is Express React Native Apps. Uh, talks to my backend. So I mean, um, okay, okay. I was like, if you spelled it wrong, then that might be why I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, so, uh, dark. You know, I think there's no real like, you know, unless you're at a company with like money that's telling you like, hey, we need to get this done. So please don't like up, you know, um, that's really when like the ter types of technologies like I I I'm really so like I actually I'm not I'm not even sorry to say it uh, because I think a lot of people are just going to like get butthurt about this. But like genuinely, you could build stuff in PHP still these days. You could build stuff in, you know, uh, you could build stuff in Ruby if you wanted to like like there's. Like you don't have to use modern technology always to like solve a problem or at least to understand how something works. Um, and honestly, like, you know, Nest is great, but like Nest isn't even like, you know, the hip buzz thing that like everybody talks about right now in the JavaScript world. Um, so, I mean, I think, you know, I think it's about what you're, tr what problem you're trying to solve, which is a lot of what I deal with daily uh, in my, in my career. Um, and so like, like what you just said to me is a pretty, you know, pretty normal scenario, my, my man, you know? Um, and just like you said, if, if J no JS is what you know, why would I tell you to go learn a whole other language when you can do pretty much most of what you need in Node.js? The only reason why you would step away truly from like Node.js and stuff like that is if you have a reason for it, right? Uh, you need more performance. Uh, you need better memory management, right? Like, like I will sit down with any fang, blang, gang, blah, blah, whatever engineer, <laughs> And literally stare them Bang in the game. face and be like, you are wrong if you think that you have to use the best of the best wrong, right out the wrong, gate. Wrong, right? Wrong. It's, it's not, it's in sometimes it's more counterintuitive for you to do that. Um, now, I'm not saying go like start building websites in, you know, Python or I'm um, not Python. Well, even Python, but, you know, uh, PHP or whatever. But if JavaScript is what you know, right, then get to a point where like you don't feel like you need to use JavaScript anymore. And that's kind of where I'm at now. I've been using JavaScript for like 10 years, man. Ever. Um, yeah, like I, I literally got to the point where like I was looking at like, refer, or, uh, you know, like ECMA changes and as it was coming out, like it was just crazy. Um, that's one of the nerdiest things I've ever heard you say. <laughs> I mean, Jordan does it. He's, he, he's the one well, who he, actually got me into that. I'll say, um, yeah, it's kind of makes sense yeah but yeah so i mean you know you can you can if you're in node.js land dude you can be in node.js land for a long time you know um yeah so i don't know follow follow your interests would be my biggest bet unless you're at a company then follow what they say <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's the best way i could put it like if it's your interest dude anything's on the table you want to learn rust go learn rust you know what i mean 
There's a term for that, CV driven development. Yeah, exactly. If you if you want it to be for your CV, sure, totally get that, hundred percent. But like, but there's CV nobody like nobody's gonna give a crap about what you're building except for you. Seriously. All right, chat. So I think realistically, this is the main crux of of what the front end's gonna look like. We'll be able to create a list. We'll be able to generate the games that we need from that list. And actually, you know what? Hang on. Hold on. I got to interrupt you really quickly Go because there's always that one like seasoned engineer who comes in and is just like, yeah, well, I've worked with Node.js and it's, it sucks because it's got null checks issues. And yeah, I mean, sure, Gremlin, you're not wrong. I don't, I don't disagree with you again as somebody else who understands the difference between a regular script language and a superset language that provides type safety on top of that i.e typescript <laughs> to uh you know more statically based things that like dude we can we can just you want to go down that hole baby we can fall down that that rabbit hole <laughs> um but it takes a while to get out i mean it's not even not that it takes a while to get out it's like gremlin has entirely accurate perspective however it's massively jaded um, it doesn't always happen that way. It, it, it can because of the mechanisms and the way that JavaScript's kind of built, right? Like JavaScript is kind of set up to fail unless you know what you're doing. I will be clear. How many times do I run into null checks? Like never. Why? Because I just use TypeScript, right? Got rid of it. Solve the problem. Um, you got to know how to get around JavaScript's bumpers, you know, or JavaScript's like bumps. You know what I mean? Um, and I like, I like the term JavaScript buffers. Yeah. I, 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 I think, I think gremlins totally right. However, um, I, I'm not a big fan of the, I'm going to go into a conversation and then just give nothing but negatives and no positive at all. <laughs> it's, it's an accurate perspective. And as somebody who's also who worked in DevOps, like, sorry, bro. I feel like I could say this truly because I've literally been on the other side of that phone call. Like, many times um yeah it, you got to know what you're doing and i'm and i'm going to be clear we shoot ourselves in the foot with javascript at even where i work so it's a it's a total valid sentiment but again as i said before if it's your company it's a different story you know what i mean like that that's when that shit really matters versus like if it's some random side project i'm sorry but like gremlin statement doesn't even matter it's a side, it's your own thing. It, like, who cares? The only person who's going to deal with those issues is you. If you want to deal with them, deal, deal with, with them. them. You know, like, yeah. But it, again, not a, not a bad take. I just wanted to make sure I set the, the tone of the take properly. Um, yeah. Oh, let me, let me respond to, uh, let me respond to USMC chicks thing too. Uh, so BG, since you are answering this question, I built a simple Django app for my profile. What is the best, that's cheapest way to get it online and show it off? Um, I mean, honestly, there's a lot of free stuff out there right now. Like you can go to like Linode or DigitalOcean. You know, you don't have is, to go is, directly is to like. Or Linode? Well, it's called Linode, but I just said it wrong and Linode. didn't feel okay, like no, I, I want to make sure like you didn't like hear like a proper pronunciation from somebody, and now you're like like because you should know me by now that I don't I don't take anybody else's word for granted. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I just said it wrong. Um, and yeah, like, again, just to be clear, like, yeah, you can totally fall into the, but like, and, and honestly, in the same thing, like, if you build a website with Python, you're going to run into that same problem. Like, any language that doesn't have type safety, you're going to run yeah. into null check issues. Nope. No, it's just, you don't have type safety, you know? Um, cheapest way. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, uh, Heroku, I, I, I think Heroku's gotten a little expensive. To be honest with you, I don't know because I I've used Heroku, I've used DigitalOcean, I've used Linode, I've used AWS, I've used Google, I've pretty much used everything out there right now except what for like a few Fly European uh, stuff. What? What uh, Felix said, Fly.io. Yeah, Fly.io is not bad either. Um, I mean, so USMC chick, my goal for you would be to just find something that helps you, you know, get closer to just like just getting the process running where it needs to be don't worry about like automation and all that stuff yet just like get it to where you can run it and then access it via your url <laughs> you know what i mean and then once you get there then figure out how to take care of all the rest but yeah you know uh yeah just just get like a droplet you know like a small droplet with digital ocean 
you know, uh, again, Heroku, things like that. Um, and then, yeah, just you <laughs> get know, closer. Yeah, get closer. Literally, yeah, get closer. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all you want to do is you just want to get closer. Um, yeah. All right, chat. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. We've been going for almost two hours now, and I've had, uh, I guess, two coffees this morning and forgot about one of them and almost this whole big old bottle of water. So I will be right back. Um, I'm going to get up with you, but I will say this. Get your questions ready, chat. I'll keep hanging out. I'll keep I'll keep answering questions and stuff like that. Don't worry. Also, I'll Dark, I'll answer your question when we get back from the break, too, my friend. Uh, let's run a three-minute ad. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to run an ad chat. So if you guys don't know why we run ads, basically Twitch wants us to do so. So we run ads when we take breaks. That way you guys don't miss out on any of the content. Uh, I think it's the best, you know, uh, you know, happy medium we can do with it. If you don't want ads, just keep in mind that, you know, you can always, you know, get, you know, uh, subscribe to us or use that Twitch priming or even Twitch Turbo. But just here's make the a timer for three minutes and mute the stream. <laughs> yeah, so 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 there's a reason why we do ads, and I want I want to I want like everybody to know about pre-roll because I realize a lot of people don't know what pre-roll is because I, I saw Nate having to explain this the other day. If we run these ads when we're away from the stream, anybody new who doesn't have Twitch Turbo, who's coming to the stream for the first time, won't be hit with an ad or not subscribed to us or not. Well, that's hey, if they're brand new to the stream, they wouldn't be subscribed. Right. Yeah. So. That's why we do it. And like when we take our little breaks, we, we get that fill in that gap so that we can bring in new people easier as opposed to having that shielded, you know, first step and just who cares about them. <laughs> also, also, we are trying to at avoid the ad offering bullshit that they're doing. Right yes. Now. Yeah. We, we don't we don't want to give you guys 10 minutes of ads every hour or some bullshit. Like and, that. and that's what Twitch is trying to cram down your viewer throats. Yes. So we're trying to have the happy medium to where we don't have to be put on to the actual like it just it automatically slaps them out. Exactly. Like we're trying to make sure that we maintain the ad time so that, you know, we don't have any disruption in service and entertainment. Cool. All right, chat. We'll be right back. No, let me slap that BRB up. And if you're bored, chat, by the way, hey, there's some links for you right here. Boom, boom, boom. Go enjoy yourselves. We'll see you guys shortly. It's only going to be like a minute, by the way. What is up? I am back. I am back. The next info-related stream, you're probably going to catch BG on Monday. Actually, I don't know what he's going to be streaming on Monday, so he will be back in a minute. Omi and we can Omi Corn. I, I love the name. We can then we can ask uh, we can ask him. Well, what's up, guys? How to how to get a cocktail? Of course, of course, he'll be back in like a couple minutes. He will be not on stream, but uh, he'll be talking on stream. He won't physically. I guess I guess technically he will physically be on stream because you can see him behind me, but. Uh, you know, this is what I am drinking is a Woodford Reserve and Coke. It is the CM Griffin special. And it's also his bottle of whiskey he left uh, from TwitchCon. Actually, we'll do a little shout out to our boy Chris here because he is a saint. I think he's streaming right now, actually. Oh, I can't spell. Um. Yep, our boy is live. He's gonna see this in a second. Yeah, this is his bottle of whiskey he left here, and I have been slowly putting it, you know, putting it through. You're drinking the man's whiskey. Listen, listen. It's gonna be probably another year till he's here, and he 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 allowed me to have this whiskey. It wasn't a full bottle of whiskey. It was like what was left of it. All right, so BG and I had a conversation in the Gay Ridge uh, just now um, while we were on break. And he's like, you know, you might want to rely on a framework here. And I was like, you know what? That probably makes some sense. We discussed between Tailwind and Bootstrap. And I think we're going to do Bootstrap to start off with just to get V1 out. And... Later on, when we want to make it a little bit prettier and a little bit nicer and actually decide to learn uh, Tailwind as well, we'll we'll dive into that. Yeah, honestly, I thought it would be kind of a nice little uh, nice little thing we could, uh, you know, we could help each other on there, USMC chick. 
I've got a High West Rendezvous Rye, which I think you recommended. So I can, oh, the Rendezvous Rye is so good. It makes a really good Manhattan. Mm, I haven't had a rye in a minute. There's actually a San Diego distiller that makes a really good rye my mom bought for me the first year I moved out here. Mmm, si San Diego rye whiskey. I have fallen off my whiskey game. I really need to get back into it. I just haven't had time, chat. I legit, like, go to, you know, I'm at work and I come home and I'm working on stream stuff or learning how to code or, you know, taking a freaking nap because time sucks. <clears throat> go. A oh, powerful, extensible, and feature-packed front-end toolkit. Build and customize with SAS, utilize pre-built grid systems and components, and bring projects to life with powerful JavaScript plugins. I do want to read the docs. Man, I hate that this is bright as... There we go. It was just the front page that was not working with the <clears throat> old reader. The old reader. Dark reader. I saw old fashioned uh, there in the chat, and my brain uh, jumped to that. Uh, just ran out of sweet vermouth. So, no, uh, yeah, an old fashioned isn't too bad. Do you do you like? Are you a Scotch fan? I don't remember. And if you are, do you like peaty Scotch? <clears throat> uh, getting started by including Bootstrap's production ready CSS and JavaScript via CDN uh, without the need for any build steps. Blah blah blah. Create a new index.html file in your project root. Uh, include the maiden name viewpoint tag as well for proper response behavior and mobile devices. Okay, well, I'm guessing it's going to want us to do it here. And say if if you do like the smoky scotch and smoky scotch old fashioned is one of the best things ever, or if you like smoky whiskeys, actually doing a um the bottle's called Brimstone. I forget the name of the uh, distillery. It's a Texas whiskey. And this one here, Balcones, Balcones. Oh man, that is a <clears throat> it is a corn whiskey, so it's more akin to like a bourbon. But they can't call it a bourbon just because the way they produce it's a little bit different. Actually, it's because they're using blue corn, not yellow corn. And then it's the it's it's smoked with um with Texas scrub oak, and it has like it's like barbecue whiskey. Like I really actually want to make a whiskey glaze, like barbecue glaze with it. Back now, what about Scotch? Um, you have a Ben React right now. Oh, I love Ben React. I was going to say, the, if you get a bottle of Laphroaig 10, just the cheap, the, 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 the baseline Laphroaig, and you make an old-fashioned out of it, it will blow your brains. Like, one of the best cocktails you'll ever have. Okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> We've already got what we need here. Device with, there we go. Then we need, um, so I guess, I guess I need to see, oh, I see what's happening. This is just, this is just a getting started. Okay, so, we're okay there. Include bootstrap CSS and JS, uh, place the link tag inside of the head for our CSS and the script tag uh, for our JSS or JS bundle, including proper for positioning, da, 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 da. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, I'm really hoping I'm doing this right, and I'm just not completely breaking crap. So, BG, um, just to be sure, I'm wanting to, like, add all this bootstrap stuff, like, into the index HTML for the React app, right? Sorry, what? What was the question? The getting started here, the quick start. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to do it all in the React app, right? 
do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Google Bootstrap React Create React App. Like, just put those three things together. <clears throat> okay. I, I was looking at the other ones. Done. Uh, whatever you do, do not use React Strap. <laughs> whatever you use, don't use Jock Strap. Uh, listen, That's if you, you love Lafroig, try Lafroig old fashioned, <laughs> please. That's and... all you need, Austin. Okay. Yeah. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. Listen here. Kidding. Sir. Listen here, meatbag. I don't. I don't need that kind of lip coming from you as I'm trying to learn <laughs> what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> okay, well that's that and that that makes sense. So um Oh let me let me uh look at questions that I missed while we were gone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so damn it, you dumbass. Not you. This time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh so what would be the least painful way to put my shitty Node.js backend on the internet where it'll be accessible by my React Native app? Well, Probably just shouldn't put it on the internet at all, considering you said it was shitty. Damn. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry, I'm totally kidding. I'm spicy today, Chad. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> I mean, same thing. Front end and back, like like it, anything that we're just talking about is a little passion project, side project, like stuff like that. Um, yeah, like Droplet. You know, you uh, use it. Get a Droplet at DigitalOcean, Linode. Like these are all like I. I'm saying DigitalOcean because like I actually think Dio is not a bad company. I almost went to work at DigitalOcean actually, like five years ago. Um, I mean, if you guys wait a couple <laughs> weeks, we'll have a whole stream about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> if you wait like a, whole, a couple weeks, we'll we'll definitely have content on it. Um, yeah, I mean. I, you can go to like Amazon and stuff like if you really wanted to you could you could try Amazon like they have free tiers and it's basically the same it's the same benefits as going to like Linode and you know Dio and stuff like that basically you get like a $30 a month free VM um, I think I think that's it's like 730 hours a month of free time for one EC2 instance right but the difference is if you go to you know Dio or you know Linode to do it they're going to have like a much nicer like experience for people who don't know how to set up things in clouds, which is totally understandable. <laughs> you know, um, it's going to be a little easier. The user interface is going to be easier to work with and nicer to work with. So, yeah, that's kind of my sentiment on that, if that makes sense. <clears throat> but I think I think I think it could be like. You know, again, I think it could be Dio. I, I think it could be Linode. I could think, you know, or I, I think it could be any of those, like, you know, uh, non, like, warehouse, you know, cloud hosters. You're more artisanal. Uh, they're actually, cloud they services. actually have a real name. They are called boutique hosting services. Oh, that was yeah. close. Um, I, I mean, it's just boutique in general, right? Like boutique shoot clothing sh stores. Like they're they're a niche for a specific market. I love the Naboo Naboo boutique. Yeah, Naboo Naboo boutique. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's just they're basically considered boutique uh, hosting services. They're not cloud host. They're not technically cloud hosting services. They lean on. So a lot of boutique hosting services rely on cloud hosting services. So, for example. Uh, Dio and Linode use S3 as a backend for a lot of their storage. You know, I um, actually knew that. <clears throat> yep. And I don't know why I knew that. Probably because I told you. <laughs> it's quite possible. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, and so what do they do? They resell S3 storage through their own, you know, panel with its own prog product and stuff like that. All right, let me... Gotcha. Let me know if that answers your question, though. All right, so I've added Bootstrap. Heroku, yeah, Flyo, again, good as well. And yeah, actually, L Ratio has also very, got a very good point as well. If it's just like a very simple React Angular application, something that is just flat file, and I actually have a YouTube video on this chat. Here, let me share it with you guys. Uh, we have a VOD um, 
where I explain serverless deployments. And that's really what that is, where you, you lean on something like Amazon S3 uh, or basically like static, ho sorry, give me one second, Otoda, or like static hosting uh, to be able to host your website on the internet. And if you go here, so two things. One, um, <clears throat> we have two links that are about to pop up. The first one is our main channel, but the second one is our archives. Our archives is where like all of our actual you know, day-to-day -day content, like even today we'll be in the archives in like a few weeks. Um, in our archives, however, uh, there is a whole uh, VOD that I wrote. Actually, there's two of them technically. One of the VODs is the actual uh, technical design where I sit down and I talk about like, you know, what this <laughs> is and why we need it, right? And then the second VOD I'll share with you is where we actually automate it. Um, but the, the TLDR is, is that we don't lean on like a VM to host it. We rely on like static, you know, like op basically object storage is what it's technically called. Yeah. And that's free. Like that's very cheap. Like, so to give you guys an example, USMC chick, anyone else asking about this, if you just want to host the front end on like Amazon S3, for example, it's pennies, <clears throat> literally pennies. Um, that is hands down the the absolute cheapest way to host a front end is to put it on an object storage. However, it is very limited to what you can do with it. Um, and so that's what that makes, makes it sense. very challenging. By the way, Rubens, thank you for the follow. Sorry, what did you, what were you going to say now? Oh, I was going to say, is, is that a video you might want to like earmark for like doing an edited video? Possibly. I did that for Hippo. Oh. Yeah. Um, and it was okay because the design is generic enough that it doesn't matter, right? Like that's not like intellectual property. Nothing I do really is intellectual property of Hippo unless it's like the actual source code, obviously. And I never show Hippo's source code on well, stream of course, anymore. right. <clears throat> but yeah. Baby dev, that's, that's what I am. <laughs> Welcome. Theo said I get $200 credit and it says $6 to deploy a droplet. I would assume that comes out of the credit. Yes, that comes out of the credit. It's not double credit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, with hosting, always assume there is a single credit that you get and everything's going to suck from that credit. Uh, lurking, uh, but I wouldn't recommend the CDN products. You can't tree shake away the JS you don't use at that point. You Where could. You yeah, at? I was like, I couldn't you with like lazy loading? Maybe I'm wrong. Again, Chris is much more, honestly, Chris is a much more experienced front end de developer than I am. So I am not sure on that one, but I, I thought you could. Where did Chris say this at? I don't even see it in chat. That's because you're bad at reading chat. Uh... <laughs> you don't see it? It's, you don't oh, see. I, I, yeah, I, hang okay. on. I had to scroll down for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, tree shaking. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, if he's using an extra, he can't tree shake the assert anymore. No, I, I see. I see. Oh, it, I see it. I was I was scrolled up just one too many. Well, as I, I said, it. regardless, it's limited. So you know, limited does fall Limit in that you. same category of what Chris is saying as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you might. You, yeah, Chris is entirely true uh, or accurate in the sense that like you might run into weird shit like that, and then you might be like, oh. <clears throat> okay, so I need to figure out like how to actually use Bootstrap, I guess. I love the branding of this so much. Sorry, chat. That that was the most adorable little popcorn popped kernel I've ever seen in my life. Read a little bit more about important global environment settings. Read about what is included in the Bootstrap content section and a list and a list of components that require JavaScript below. Need a little more power. Consider building Bootstrap. Da 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 da. So BG, I guess like since I've never messed with Bootstrap, like wh where do I get started? The docs. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> do you want me to give you the engineering to engineering answer? Because that's what any other engineer would tell you. 
And it like, cause like, okay, so here's here's what I'm saying. Is this uh, hey, fuck. Where do you feel lost on this shit? Like, I don't know exactly where to move forward with it. To be honest with you, because a we didn't. Oh, you. Oh. I don't do a fucking thing for me. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, I'm, are you serious? <laughs> it's like all there. <laughs> like, I was like, you're just in mobile view. That's why you didn't see it. I guess. I guess the the, the baton is uh, the the first thing that we're probably gonna look at here. Diego Rambau, thank you for the follow. I think I got that name right. Oh, let's see. Uh, examples, Bootstrap includes several predefined button styles, each serving its own semantic purpose, with a few extra thrown in for more control. Alright, those all make sense. So I guess my biggest thing here now, chat, is I've got to <clears throat> I've got to switch my brain back into like actually front end gears, which I haven't done forever. And um, yeah, what are you giggling about over there? I was just like, "Welcome to engineering." <laughs> 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 yeah, how many times like context shift in a day? Good God, <clears throat> it's insane. I mean, to be fair, I do it a lot because I work in DevOps and I'm, I'm basically support. So I probably context shift a bit more than normal, most people do. I love how Chris is like the best like stream lurker ever to where he can actually like, yeah, keep that up blows with my chat. fucking mind. He's literally live. Right. I'm going to go in his channel. How many, how many, how many, like, like how many monitors do you have, Chris? Or is it just in the background? I feel like at this point he's trying to make a profession out of it. I feel like I feel like I, I I see like in the future just like Chris having like several different monitors and each with their own individual computer with like an individual Chris Griffin account so that he can lurk individually and take care of people. Yo, Kira, what's up, dude? Look at that thirty-eight wonderful months at tier three. Thanks, bud. You you you. I've, you know, I, I as 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 much as you know, I have to explain to chat. Akira has basically become like 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 family, a family friend at this point. Uh, one of our longest time supporters. I mean, he was around when we were just doing video games and crap too. So you know, and 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 made the transition with us. He's the only person I allow to call me BG Squeegee. The only person. <laughs> That can call him BG Squeegee. He's still going to get hit for it one day when I see him, but he'll only get one. <laughs> it's all out of love. Thank you, Akira, for just being, as always, amazing, bud. Vegas trip when? I mean, <clears throat> honestly, a Vegas trip doesn't sound bad. I feel stupid because I hit create and nothing happens. I mean, what's it, what's it called again? Pebcac? All right, so you know what? Let's just let's you know. I'm I'm intrigued here. So I wonder if Chris, I'm 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 looking at him streaming right now, and I'm wondering if like he's even got it down to where he separates like maybe like a stream in each ear. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't usually listen to streams though. He usually just keeps up with chat. Love you too, Squeezy. Thanks, bud. <sighs> he's he's hesitating from laughing. I know he is. He's a little fucker. <laughs> Is he, is he listening to us? I, I, he has to be. <laughs> There's no way. If he contact shifted out of our conversation that quickly, that's fucking impressive. That's all I got to say. I mean, I, I can say this. I couldn't put it past him. He is impressive that way. Is that Mosiac Panda? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to you. 
Oh, I don't think he's listening now. I think he's just reading chat now, actually. And say, I'm pretty sure he just like focuses on on chat, which is still impressive all on its own too. All right, so I'm I'm I'm. I, I guess what we're gonna do, chat, is we're gonna we're we're just gonna try some here. Where no back here back here give me the buttons show me the buttons damn is it really that simple holy crap okay Okay, okay. He doesn't want to have to deal with opinionation or uh opinionation around design right now, Mosaic. Only reason why. Pretty much, yeah. Um We don't really care what this looks like from a UX perspective. It's it's my first project and I'm I'm trying my best. Um however, there will be a entirety like, you know, tailwind stream in the near future. All right, I guess let's explore and see what all all we have here. All right, so that's what a popover is. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so he's only paying attention to chat. It's absolutely impressive. Akira, building a project called MGC. Uh, M oh, I can't even. MRGC. There we go. Ah, dang, man, my. This is dyslexia. The bit I have gets the better of me sometimes with numbers and talking and obviously the way I was typing today. Oh, no, I'm MGRC. I typed it in horribly wrong, too. See, I take a deep breath, just in through the nose. Out you the said mouth. that so quick, you made me think of Tom Goes to the Mayor. You said take a deep breath, but I heard a <laughs> rig a dig dig. <laughs> take, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Um, so Akira, the plan is we've already built out the, um, we've already got the back end built out for the, at least the admin side of things. Um, there we go. And it is called the monthly game release, monthly game release calendar. There we go. So once a month, what we're going to do is we're going to basically scrape from Raji the games that are going to be coming out the following month. And we're going to store them in the database. And then we're going to basically curate between each one to see like if we want to add it to the list. Then that's going to get added to a game list that will be voted upon. And we'll have the chance for chat to vote on. Basically, it's going to be a pattern of four, six, or nine is what I'm thinking of. And um, yeah, you guys will be able to vote for what game we do a premiere of. So whatever the release date is the following month, so either the day of the game's release or the weekend of, depending on the scheduling of that week, we'll do a big game stream. And it's something we want to do, you know, regularly, like once a month and, and have fun with it. So, and it also is a perfect, you know, opportunity for me to figure out how to program. So that's how we're here. That's why we're here. All right, so my vision chat of how I want the this to look would almost be something kind of similar to this. You have this menu over <laughs> here. <laughs> What's up? You you live and you learn, USMC chick. Oh, you live and you learn. That's why that's why you have a total of two hundred dollars that you can spend. <laughs> they strategically do this, you know. <clears throat> it is not loading. Um, That's hilarious. Yeah, so I'm thinking of something kind of very similar to this, where we have a little side panel that's going to have... Um, where is the thing I'm looking for? There we go. Either with a button to create a list, game to... or a button to like actually look at the, uh, the list. Um, hmm. Hmm. No, I'm just looking at how I named this, and I realized that I named it a little wrong. Um, 
This is create monthly list, not uh, gather monthly list. Then we'll be able to actually gather that list and look at through it individually. And then we'll have all these buttons here that we'll be able to do where we'll be able to update the URL for it, um, be able to make it the winner. Um, that will be just kind of a toggle. This will be a toggle as well, and so will this. Um, I just realized something though. These two do not go with that. These two actually go up here. Sorry chat, let me fix the flow chart real quick so I don't confuse myself later, which is a just so in the realm of possibility, so uh, bear with me. Your boy Atota sometimes gets lost real easy. Then we have to restart, and, and that's just that's just never any fun. Bam, bam, boom. You guys go here. I need you to be orange. And five pixels, please. Because I am blind. Um. All right, cool. That makes more sense. All right, so I'm gonna want a little Dropbox at the side that's gonna be able to do these four, and then each of the individual pages will have their own little buttons. So let's get back to Bootstra uh, Bootstrap here, and um, is it the accordion? Is that what this is called? No, that's for that. Don't need that. Um, what is it called? <clears throat> talking to me? No, I'm talking out loud. And I can't help you. I don't want your help. How's that feel? I <laughs> you just just wait until I need it, though. Okay? I was like, do you know how often I wish people would tell me that at work? <laughs> I don't actually need your help. Sweet. I'll I didn't want to you. help you in the first place. <laughs> Damn. Talk, yeah, exactly. Uh, that was a one-sided discussion. <laughs> So I'm willing to bet it's this chat, and then we just need to change the direction in which it goes, right? Any coworkers to tell me when I'm being an ass? I kind of have to be. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. I genuinely have to be the dude. Like, I've sent, like, I've shown friends, like, uh, picture, I know, like, even a total, like, pictures of Slack threads that I've been on where I'm just like, why are we doing this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, please, no, no. Like, literally, just to God, the point of no. Yeah, no, literally, just like I've said, bad, 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 like three times in a row on messages and stuff. Like, yeah. I think sometimes, it, as long as it's not like personal, that's what I always try and avoid: not making it personal. Because it's never about. Yeah, it's never I mean, supposed to be personal. You you have to kind of aim it to be that way. Otherwise, that's just going to cause issues down the road. Exactly. Yeah, you don't want to build resentment. You want to build respect and like help with you know teaching like good practices and shit. And they have to want to opt into it, but they also have to understand why you should you you know why you should. And that's a big. Well, I shouldn't say it's a big issue, but it's an issue that I think a lot of companies, where like people might bring something to the table, but they don't fully like explain why something is being done. <laughs> um, That's what I want. This button right here. Okay. Oh, this, this, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun chat. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy all of you. You guys just heard me burp. I apologize. I didn't realize I wasn't muted. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, you oh you burped. I did, yeah. But I my face was close to the mic. So no, I, see, I, 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 I what did. I've I heard, I didn't hear the full thing at first, and I thought you just basically said all of that unmuted, and then I I realized what you were actually saying, <laughs> and then my brain was like, oh, ne never mind. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, okay. So it don't matter. All this matters. 
Yeah, we've been quoting that a lot lately. I know we need to we need to actually sit down and watch oh, yeah, we do. some Aqua Teen. Yeah. My name is. Oh yeah, just broke. Apparently, I can't spell the word internal. Why not? Because I'm stupid. Yeah, because you're stupid. Yeah, <laughs> listen, it happens. I beat you to it. <laughs> I know, you didn't let me have it. That's, yeah. That was a shame, actually. <laughs> you have too many opportunities. Fair. Um, Using off canvas in nav, dark map, RB words, you may need to have a dark background on the offset canvas to become legible. And this example before we add dark. Da, da, da. Okay. Um... Oh. Speaking of like using other languages, chat, um, I think I've told you guys this already, but like, you know, as I said, I've used JavaScript and TypeScript for quite some time now. I really am trying to stop using those languages, mostly because I'm just tired of writing in them. <laughs> Um, but also because I'm interested in other ones. I'm sick and tired of them. Um, and yeah, like I've, I like Go. I've really been into Go lately. I've been enjoying Go quite a bit. I don't think I stated this before, but I brought Pulumi into my current platform after I learned it here and learned it a bit on it. And my CTO was surprised that he didn't need to hire a whole DevOps team. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Hell that's awesome, yeah. actually. Dude, that is... That's dope. Hell yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's good stuff. I like to hear that kind of stuff. One second, chat. It means you're doing something right. I feel a bit of a tension headache starting, so we're going to nip that one in the bud. Oh, did you take medication? Yeah, I just took something real quick. What's the problem? Are you are you running into something? Uh, yeah. Like when I'm literally just trying to implement this nav bar to see how it works, I'm running into. You need to do it in app.js. I, I I know. We just moved over here to look at something real quick. Okay. We we did add it in here, and then we are. Hold on. Hmm. So let me delete. I'm just gonna gut all this real quick. Oh, so if I'm going to like add, let's just say we'll add the actual, what we wanted to. Yeah, I just, I, that's, I was just trying to pull back and figure out like. No. Nope. Out. Come on, fingers. I mean, I don't need everything in here. I really just need the Dropbox and then fill it out. Because what I'm trying to so, use on, is so. this. I'm listening. So my only counter to that crypto is, is it's working with everything else. Like, if he undoes it, he still has HTML in there. I don't think changing the name is going to matter here because the transpiler knows how to read the extension and apply the JSX. Yeah, because we've used it. a couple other ones, too, already. I think that's just broken code. Like, I think you're just going to have to debug it and figure out where the non close Like, it seems like there's not... Something in what you just copied isn't properly closed. Right. Like, yeah, exactly. You might need to close the HR tag. That might be what it is, actually. Because JSX is something weird like that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so okay. So, copy it again. Mm-hmm. So, this is the new specific thing that I'm trying to get to. So, like, see this little border right here? Over over there? Oh, yeah. So, you know how to close that? Yeah. Oh, and then there's another one down here. 
assez, assez. itched so why wouldn't the button actually be working though is it do you is it supposed to do something i figured like with what they just if it's from bootstrap right and not it shows entirely like, hmm? not entirely did you read all of it because that's just html scroll down I see. <laughs> that, yeah, Griffin's also. Chris, do you just want to get on a call with the toad? <laughs> Chris, do you want to teach the boy the ways? I'm not a front end developer, Chris, okay? I can't teach him like you can. <laughs> And the the man is streaming. I used to, I, he's in our chat hanging out. He is he is given. It's because it's because he cares for me. He is, he's a good person. He is he has chosen to become part of the contest. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Sorry, I, I don't he's, mean he's to be a master assuming. of many things. Uh, I'm 22 and a paralegal. I want to break into tech via web development. Do you think it's possible for me to take a career, dude? It, it's you could be 45 and want to go into de web development and yeah, get a career. Say, like, dude, it does I'm, not I'm, matter I'm at all. almost 33 and, yeah, there you and go. just diving into it. So. There you go. There you go. See? Nah, dude. And, and like, I'm, we're not even, we're not even bullshitting you. Like, that's, it's, it's very true. The thing you need, and I was talking about this in the stream the other day, is just passion. You need to be excited about it. You need to wake up every day. It's just like exercising or, you know, take, like, whatever, you know, disciplined thing that you're trying to do to move yourself forward in your life like you have to do it a lot and you have to you know uh build a lot of different things try a lot of different things and stuff like that so just get started get started literally just get started that's the best yeah. suggestion um i know i know and again i'm not trying to like call out a toady here but like i think you know in some ways like we've had conversations in the past where it's been like you know how can we get you into programming? And it was just like, oh, it's really tough. Or, you know, and it was, I think a lot of it for you was really just like just getting you in the chair and just starting to work with stuff. Well, I mean, I, I honestly, for the streaming portion, like I had a, I personally had to get to a level of comfort mm -hmm. to where like I wouldn't just be sitting here slack jaw in front of the camera being like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll know, chat. And you've seen me do that a couple times, chat. Like I had to get to this point to where I felt comfortable, like, conveying it to you guys which is well streaming it's a whole other thing right yeah. but that's also has opened me up to like learning quicker now too sure because now i'm completely just you know i'm the vulnerable pup with the belly up going like somebody help me <laughs> i would like a pet bro I, I, I ain't got no idea what's going on um okay so i like linux a lot any other route i should take what are you interested in <laughs> um there's tons of stuff in the in in the whole you know linux and computer-esque world i mean there's networking there's uh what is it there's uh software development there's hardware development like a lot of stuff Lots i took a basic cybersecurity course for nyu and i aced it okay is that something you're interested in i think i think it's good to identify your interests you know yeah. what i mean Cause you're like, I got out of front end cause I got tired of working in front end. Like I used to be a front end developer. I was a front end developer for three years. And I mean, to be fair, you know, you could find yourself going down one route and then find a completely different interest and just pivot. Yep. That's what I did. <laughs> but I guess the best thing is, is like if, if, if tech intrigues you, get your foot in the door. Pretty much. Yeah. And then, and then figure it out from there. I mean, at least that's what I'm doing. Yeah, USMC chick, it's been awesome to see your progress, honestly. Yeah, I, we really appreciate you sharing it in the community and stuff. Yeah, hey, it gets been really hype. cool. Like anytime we see something like, I mean, from anybody in, in the community, that's like, you know, something good has come from like hanging out in the community and us all learning together. Like it's super exciting. I just, it's again, I hang out with you guys so much. It's fun to see the, the progress. Uh, I had to get comfortable to a point where I understood what you were doing and now I feel like we are on the same place and that makes me much more enjoyable. 
Uh, otherwise, it's just like a matrix of samples are going across the screen. I mean, absolutely. I think I think that's in some ways the same with anything you don't know, right? Like it might not be programming, but you know, you might look at something and be like, "This is confusing." Um, yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, totally understandable. Damn window. Are you like reading mm. the documentation? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm not to be like that guy, but just want to make sure you're not just like copy pasting. No, I'm, I'm kind of seeing what, what, what everything is, is basically. Going on here. I don't know if that should work unless you need JavaScript to do it. Like, uh, I'm but... going to need JavaScript to do it. Yeah, but okay. it's not explained to me. Like, all right, well, uh, yeah, I would imagine eventually it'll get to it. How would I get my foot in the door if uh, the requirements are two to five year experiences? Those probably aren't companies you want to work at, my friend. Uh, in all seriousness, um, you can't fake experience. I mean, you can, but it does not work well in the end. Trust me, I've tried it. Um, projects is a good one, yeah. Um, yeah, and portfolio. Yeah, I mean... Um, yeah, I mean, projects is honestly probably the best thing you really could do. Yeah, projects and, um, yeah, personality. Yeah, honestly, Networking. those aren't bad. Those aren't bad callouts. When you first starting, when you're first starting out, man, you're you're really like in a lot of ways, you kind of have to look at it as like you 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 just need to accept you're the dumbest person in the room. Um, and honestly, you kind of just need to accept that for the rest of your career. <laughs> if you do that, then you'll always learn something. That's truly how I kind of try and look at it. Like I just. I imagine I'm going to say something that somebody knows more than I do about it. Um, so, yeah, you know, I mean, I think I think if you can go into a conversation with that and then you can kind of be like, hey, but I can I know I can get there. Right. That's what a lot of companies really want to see is is like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I want to get there I, or but I know how to, uh, you know, like be able to work through troubleshooting something or something like that. So passion, like I said, yeah. I did front end for two years. Now I switched to back end. SJS, SQL. Yeah, that's dope. Hell yeah, very cool. As long as you're enjoying it, you know that's that's the most critical part is enjoying what you're doing. Chat, enjoying life. If you're not enjoying life, you got to change it. Trust me, I've I've gone down the path of not enjoying it, especially for your job, dude. You spend so much time at your job. Think about yeah. the amount of like you like. This is not something I think we're trained to, you know, think about because obviously, you know, they don't want us to. Um, but you spend about, you know, at least a third of your life, if not more than that, working for somebody else. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> How often do you guys touch grass? Um... I mean, off like I mean, I, we have a backyard. <laughs> I go into the backyard often. <laughs> I, I I usually go sit like outside and just sit in the sun and get my my daily allotment of vitamin D and then walk back in. Yeah, we have like a little mini like compound almost where we live. Like we kind of have everything we need within our little walls. Okay, I you know I'm I'm not sure what's 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 happening with this because we i know we said import bootstrap but bootstraps being imported here at our index js um dude what is up with twitch man they got some they've just got the weirdest bugs i'm i'm hovering over bitrate right now to check the bitrate of the stream and it says offline <laughs> yeah i'm not even streaming right now what the fuck? vitamin d does come in a pill touche touche i know but I, I don't, I, you know, I don't like to look completely alabaster, you know, I got to get under, like, if, like, like underneath the sleeves here, man, it starts to get like, just like, like blinding. All right. Here's what you need to do before you get started with the nav bar. Nav bars require a wrapping nat dot nav bar with dot nav expand for responsive collapsing and color scheme classes. Okay.
I'm a little lost here on that. Oh, oh my oh, god, dude. <laughs> like the lights just changed. We're like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, I'm like, I was I'm not like ready for that totally either. focused, <laughs> not paying attention. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Felix. Thank you. Seriously. Everybody who got one, give uh, uh, Felix or Issa Hammer a thank you. Kid Queb. Oh, shoot. What up? Uh, oh, sn 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 snizels? Snizels? That's uh, That one's going to blow me. Casey Codes, Haplo, and Teddy. Welcome to the family. NestJS is just a big framework. Love-hate relationship. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much all frameworks are a love-hate relationship. <laughs> somebody's going to love them. Somebody's going to hate them. Uh, always look to solve problems. I am always trying to break things. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, that's how I did it. I was like, I want to be Tony Stark. And I tried making my own. Uh, remember when I did that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried making my own. Uh, what's her name? I'm embarrassed because I'm such a massive Iron Man fan. <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis. Well, no, I was going to make Friday. Right. Um, but yeah, my own Friday. Um I had a name for her, but I'm not going to tell it to you because I'm not going to spoil it because it's cool. <laughs> you still didn't um, make it. But I did that. I literally, I jumped into iOS development. I was like, I, I don't know how to start. So I'm just going to, and then I was like, all right, well, I need to, I need, you know, uh, a, a back end for my bot essentially is what I was making. Um, cool. Let me learn Postgres. And then I learned databases and I actually learned how to like, you know, connect iOS apps to databases and like all that, you know, and then. Then I was like, oh, well, iOS app sucks. <laughs> Building. It sucks <laughs> to make iOS apps. And so I was like, maybe I'll try doing front ends. Uh, and so I went the web app approach. And then I moved into, you know, uh, uh, going like, okay, well, I'm going to make a web app. Now I need to learn how to use backends more, right? Because it's not, you know, with an iOS app, everything's in the, I you know, in the thing itself. So then I learned, you know, that. And then I got... Uh, to be completely frank, um, I wanted to save money on buying ca medical cannabis, and so I offered <laughs> the guy who used Dude, to I deliver for all me. all about this. Yeah, I offered the guy who used to deliver for me. He had his own business, and I was like, I will build you your own uh, website to do like online deliveries for and stuff. And the and I said, listen, all the only thing is, I just want free stuff. Like, just just give me free stuff and you'll be you know you'll be good um and so like that's basically what he paid me <laughs> um and and yeah it didn't really go anywhere outside of that and i stopped doing that project but yeah and then i took that and then i uh just kept learning kept learning right yeah yeah that i i forget that i did that but that was a problem i wanted to solve man <laughs> Did you make sure you got maintenance fees? Um, I mean, I, I had, so like, remember we have our, you know, our data center. I've had that data center for a while. A long time. Yeah, I've had, I've had those servers for a while. And so that was like another thing that like, he didn't really know was like, I didn't have to pay for hosting charges because <laughs> I just hosted in it in my, you know, my personal servers. Um, but then like it got to the point where he was like, I got to start storing. Uh, oh yeah. He was like, I got to start storing photo IDs. And I was like, oh, I don't want those in my servers. I was like, I think we'll, you know, I think we'll put those in Amazon. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things you don't want to keep a hold of. Yeah, so, yeah. When does it get into HIPAA at that point? Is that, is that included? That's HIPAA. Yeah. No, anything, actually anything. So anything that's not your email is, I think, technically HIPAA. Like your name, your, oh, no, no. Maybe, or maybe I'm thinking GRDP. I don't know, dude. I, say, I think HIPAA is a little more, I think you can have more than just like, there are like yeah there but there's like like your uh it's still related to your personal yeah maintenance week yeah yeah i gotcha gotcha uh I, it's yeah i don't remember what specific pieces of personal data can you know validate as hipaa i don't i've only had to deal with it once and i left the company before we had to enforce it <laughs> thank god i have to be quite aware of it but like not fully aware of it that sucks yeah, it's not fun. I wouldn't want to have to work with GRDP. That that sounds terrible. All right, now bars come with built-in support for a handful of subcomponents. <laughs> Choose the following as needed. Okay, we've already seen, like, I... I don't think he copied any logic. Like, I think he's trying to figure out what he needs. 
Yeah, I am. I'm trying to figure out like how this actually like all like works. What does it mean that I need the required required wrapping? What am I where where am I doing this wrapping at, I guess? Hmm. Me, bootstrap was largely a copy paste and delete the unneeded bits. We're finding out real quick that ain't the case for me. Um <laughs> <laughs> Discuss some property in JS to determine the popper's position. I think he's just trying to get it all to work again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, I, 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 yeah, I mean, that is what I'm trying to figure out as well, Akira. I'm trying to figure out, like, w like how I'm supposed <laughs> to, like, put it together, so, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm Chad, if, if, if BG doesn't show up for stream on Monday, you realize <laughs> what I did to him. Uh... I thought it was funny. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. JS components. This is what this one requires it. Okay. Why don't why why is this list pulled away from it? Okay. Um. So how do I supposed to do this? Um. <laughs> Honestly, USMC chick is not wrong. <laughs> you did pick like the hardest thing to start working with. No, that's fair. always do this man I, well you, you know normally i would hope you would go hey how about we do it this way but no you're like you know what? fuck it let's watch him just waste a couple hours and then and then you tell me you should have done this and i'm like well that would have been nice to fucking know <laughs> sorry but no man you just like hey it's dangerous to go alone. Here's this, and you just hand me bootstrap, and I'm supposed to go fight the goddamn goblins by myself without knowing where to start. I ended up in the wrong cave, dude. What le what level boss am I fighting right now? I'm way under level. Is that what you're trying to get at? Uh, yes. <laughs> Too fucking bad. We're gonna do it. <laughs> you're probably right, though. USMC check. I should probably go about this at a smarter approach but <laughs> yeah you're not paying the t or you're not paying me to teach you <laughs> this is the free see yeah <laughs> this is the free I, I, I moved all the way to fucking california cross country with like hey i'll help you learn how to code and i get out of here and he's like there's a fucking paywall bro <laughs> you want you want to learn you got to pay um uh, this is just comedy gold is what this is we're not even programming it this hard as shit. Yeah, nothing's happening at this point. Uh, it don't matter. Well, to be fair with you, like, I kind of halfway expected their introduction to be a little more like, and now you should move on to this, but now it's just like, hey, you, you started something now, now go click a bunch of buttons. Yeah, chap. Sorry, we're l listing in the wind right now, trying to figure out where the fuck. I mean, to that's go. not that's not fair at all. Like, what? Han. Uh, <laughs> I just realized what his name is. <laughs> I was gonna say Han. Uh, what they're saying. Uh, normally the hardest path will give you. Like, it's true. Normally the hardest path will give you the greatest. Oh yeah. However, I don't know if we should stream that. <laughs> Maybe though. I there's, don't know. There's, it's there's, your decision, not mine. There's two sides of that. You know, it's a double-edged sword. You got to find a balance. And um, like I said, I'm not saying you even shouldn't. I'm just saying like it's gonna be up to you on which you feel is the best. Well, let's see here. Let me, let's go back. I forgot that this damn thing doesn't. Oh. I don't like how that works, but whatever. All right, so I see GS, JS components here. Um, so where do I get the JavaScript from them that I need? Like, you tell me I need it. 
but you don't tell me where it is. Our collapse and off canvas plugins. All right. You'll make me pull up the document, aren't you? No, I'm fucking figuring it out. You go over there and twiddle your thumbs and do what you're doing. <laughs> I think is that what you think I'm doing? Just sitting over twiddling my thumbs? Oh, that's what I'm telling you you're doing. <laughs> um... <laughs> Thank you, Center Shocks. I appreciate it. Stuck on the damn introduction page. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was just because you were being mean. Um, question. Have you added the link rel in the script tags? What now? <laughs> is this something chat asked or is this something you're asking? I'm sorry. I was I I I was okay, clicked, hold on. I clicked let a me, link. Let me let me do this really quickly. Uh create react. You're still on the create react app thing, right? Yeah, we're in there, yeah. Okay. No, you're on Bootstrap. Well, me... I'm in the React app is what I'm saying. Hold on. Let me let me see. Okay. Before you jump into that, right? I need to confirm a couple of things. Okay, let's confirm things. <laughs> let's do it. I'm going to give you a link through chat. You see that link? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how we're just sending it through our, <laughs> our own account. Um, yes. You did the NPM install bootstrap. Yeah, correct. Okay, did you do the import? Uh, yes, the import is... Show it to is, me. Uh, right, right there. Okay, I got to wait till stream catches up. There's confirmation. You can look at the, you can look at the, monitor, the, the monitor to your right. I, it hurts my neck. <laughs> Turning my head a couple degrees too far breaks it. Fuck off. Uh, all right. Did you do any of the SAS stuff? No. This is a custom theme shit, right? Hold on. Enable it. Um. So I want you to do the npm install SAS stuff. I want you to do the SAS stuff too. Okay. Or, well, hold on. Oh, did you customize Bootstrap Creative Files? Whoa. Did you install it yet or no? No, I've not. Okay, don't, never mind. Don't worry about it right now. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So, this looks good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, this looks good. All right. So, now give me the second link you're looking at, which is your... Hang on a second. This might be where all of our errors are coming from. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at that. Because I don't know what any of that is. Oh, those are just warnings. No, those are just warnings. Those, okay. Those shouldn't... Those are just lint warnings. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so back um, to what we were doing. Yeah, so... Okay, give me the link to the thing you're trying to use. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to Discord it to you. Oh, just drop it in chat. Just chat. Then they can see it too. We're all sharing. Yeah. Don't put your password in there. Damn it. Uh, no. Um, okay. So, nav bar. Documentation. Here's what you need to do. Nav bars, wrapping, collapsing. Nav bars, the container. Use flex. Nav, nav bar, supported content. Nav brand. The animation of this event depends on prefers reduced motion media query. See the reduce. Did you do that? Did you read the, no. the call out blue box that's meant for you to read it? Because it's calling out at you? Because it's in a call out. <laughs> See, chat, he really is a dick. <laughs> just, just a walking, floppy human being. Uh, I don't know if this is your problem or not. I'm just saying the animation effect of this component is dependent on that. So I would imagine if you want it to animate in and out. <laughs> And it might need this. you might need to figure out what this is. Uh reduce motion is, is what we're what we were we were looking at. Yeah. Uh, this is a... Okay. This looks like no, this should be fine. This looks like this should be fine. It looks like this is only something for browser support, technically. Yeah. If it goes to the W the sh I don't know much about media queries anymore. I think this should be okay though. Uh okay, so then supported content, drop down disabled. This example you spent. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Have you tried opening it up on Stack Blitz, whatever that thing is called? Nope. Okay. So do me a favor. 
I guess like is there do me a favor no no do me a favor really quickly uh go to go to that bootstrap page yeah i'm here all right well, let me get to the actual one i want to be on fucking dildo that's that's i'm talking to him chat not you guys <laughs> um Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Go on now. Get. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nav, right? I started a div. Nav to nav. All right. Mm hmm. Class name, 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 name. Uh, here. Ain't nothing on the screen now. Lied to me. Make sure I didn't add an extra class name, name, name to something. Nope. Joy Uzumaki, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Ain't nothing there. No. Wrong thing. Where are you at? Do I need to import these? Because because if we go to here. This is the one thing that was tripping me up because I was like, well, where do I find it? The JS I mean, components. You can, you can it and it says that it requires the off canvas, collapse an off canvas plugin. Well, that's what I thought too. That's why I was like, I thought everything was supposed to. This one here? And where's it supposed to go? Hmm. That's, oh yeah, it's something with the, uh, it's something with how create rap, react app isn't. So just leave it that way for now to get it to work. And okay. then you can figure out why it's not actually importing and stuff later. All right, well, that was, that was like a just giant headache for no reason. Hurrah, yay. We did it, chat. That just was a whole hour wasted trying to figure that out. And now I'm going to be like, I don't even like it. Let's get rid of it. Um, I'm joking. However, it's actually... You know what's interesting, chat? We copied the wrong freaking one. We totally did. But well, that's okay. Um, where where was the one I actually wanted? Um, I wanted to come out from the side. Was it? Was there? Did we have one that came out from the side? We did, didn't we? Off screen, like that. Yeah. All right. Let's let's see if we can actually do this and it doesn't break. Um, let's go back to app.js. We'll get rid of this entire 
this nav bar because that's not the one we want. Replace it. You gonna work? No, this thing. Oh, that's right. This thing didn't have the things closed out. That's right. Uh, beans, mate. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, my friend. All right, chat. We are actually starting to move now. Let's 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 start. Let's start actually trying to piece this crap together. Um, what? Why don't you just get all mad at me for and do that? Oh no, why okay, that's I see why. Why are Yeah, it's supposed to be right there. Why are we Okay. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh let's see line thirty four isn't closed either, right? Right there. Like that no, editor can use some HTML biscuit. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Griffin, always the hustler. Oh, that button doesn't work, but all right. The click off works. That was funny. The biscuits. Um I think we hold on. You think what? I don't want to get ahead of myself yet before I say anything. I'm just going to call this. I guess that works. And in the actual button itself, which is not fully working. Michael Phantom, thank you for the follow. By the way, guys, if you guys are new to the stream, since we have a bunch of new happy smiley faces around, this is a co-hosted stream. So that voice you do hear in the background and that like maybe disembodied, I can't tell from this angle. Maybe you can see him. I don't know. He's behind me. He's my co-host. That is BG. So you can catch him throughout the week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually starting between the hours of 8 and 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. Um, much more initiated into what is going on here. That's why he is my, uh, my, my mentor and help at the moment. And then you can catch me on the weekends doing uh, learning. Learning and trying to figure out this whole damn thing. All right. So I'm guessing... And that this is the button that this is referring to. Um, what is that connected to? That's down there. He is. He is what? Oh yeah, very new. Yeah, I am. We are. We are diving into it for the first time today. Yo, Denzel, what's up? Okay, so realistically, I let's get back to uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Right here. We're gonna need to basically make these four buttons here. Uh, create create a list. Create the monthly list. So those are two different things. So this is gonna be um actually this is something different. This is cool games from Raji. I know we keep coming back and changing this, but my as I'm looking at it, my brain's understanding it a little bit better. Alright, so we're going to need basically four buttons in here. Um... I think before we do that, I am going to actually run to the restroom real quick. And we're going to get into actually knocking some of this out and flushing it out and seeing what happens. Um, let's see. Let's catch up a chat real quick. Nice. I started about two months ago. How are you thinking about it? What are you thinking of it? Are you, are you enjoying it? Yeah, are there any uh, particular gotchas that uh, you have in mind that you might want to give me a heads up? Make these look a little bit prettier, chat, now that we can actually move it around a bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. We won't do a commercial break or anything like that because it'll be real quick. Um, yeah, we're not going to take too long. Um, let's see. 
Love it. Been going into the Redux toolkit this week. Nice. Like I'm really excited like to dive back into like doing some front end stuff because my 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 learning experience has been nothing but but back end for the last couple months. So this is actually quite exciting. I'm really excited to actually put the two together and watch it work. But I'll be right back, chat. Give me one second. I'm still here. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. I guess I guess the Toto really had to go chat. So I'm still here though. Hi. Sorry, I'm also working chat, so I'm a bit distracted. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Yo, uh Mitch, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, Denzel? I've uh, been going into Redux Toolkit this week. Oh, nice. That's cool. So you've been working with Redux and state management and all that sweetness. And by sweetness, I mean pain in the... <laughs> My fiance and I were driving with her mom and she read a sign that said, warning, um, dear mating season. And my fiance's mom read the sign and I said, oh, well, thanks for the head up. But dear, don't find me attractive. <laughs> that is a dad joke. That is, you need to realize through and through, Felix, that is that is a dad joke, and I appreciate that, but that is a dad joke. What did I miss? <laughs> the joke that oh, right Felix here. made. Fancy, we were driving her mom home. She read a sign that said, warning, dear mating season. My fiance's mom read the sign and said, oh, well, thanks for the heads up, but dear, don't find me. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wait, you haven't seen any of the new graphics, Akira? How's that possible? Harris, what is up? Thank you for the follow. Oh, you haven't seen? Have you have you not seen the new intro, Akira? Yeah, beans. You'll see a lot of controversy around like how state management is approached in much larger systems. I guess is the best way to put it. I don't know if we can. We can do what? If I can show the intro without like cutting me out right now. No, you can, but you can just go to it really quickly. No, no, I've got an idea. Oh, okay. You can just load up a freaking VOD. Oh, yeah, I guess you could do that too. We have a new, uh, yeah. Well, you know that we have new, you know that the branding is new at least, right? Yeah, I would hope so at I, this I point. I would really hope you know we have new branding <laughs> at this point. Like, I mean, you are a mod, you yeah. know. <laughs> you are a mod in the Discord. Oh, we need to put your theme in there because that's not the theme. Actually, that's not even the theme I use anymore. Yeah, we should probably update that. Yeah, let me get to that. I'll do it right now. There you go, Kara. The new and everybody. Yeah, we're we're actually quite excited about it. Damn it. Yeah, we got the new intro graphics. The new the new theme in general is this. You know, I guess it's a little Adult Swimmy, a little funky. Definitely heavily inspired by Adult Swim. Yeah. Which is what we grew up as kids. So, like... And we're going to have more of these. This is just the first one. We're, yeah, just V1. We're probably going to use them, like, once, like, one, uh, you know, a month or something like that. And then I'm already thinking of a Christmas one. Spoilers. Spoilers! So, I'm excited. Yeah, these are the, um... The new themed graphics. Um... The yeah, ending see, here is the, the real nod adult to Adult Swim. Yeah. Adult Swim, yeah. Right Ting. there. Yeah, that's the real. Eventually we'll have our own like Ding! but it, I don't want to I don't want to rip off rip their it off sound completely. obviously. I want our own. Oh yeah, we do have a new we do have this too, Akira. The new transition. Yeah, the new transition. And then the new hoodies. Oh yeah. The new the new merch as well. Let's see. 22, 2022 Redux isn't the worst thing in the world. I used old Redux uh first and then used Toolkit and it was way easier to use. Can you oh. give me the theme? Can you just like paste the theme that you use for VS Code in chat for me? Uh or the plugin, I guess, or whatever. I don't know what the theme is. Well, what, what, what do you mean the the the, the thing that makes it ghosty. People oh. think it's a theme. Oh, we we already have that in as a command. Oh, okay. Glass it. Just give okay, I'll probably just move it from glass it to that. 
you're going to confuse the ever living hell out of me. In the next couple of streams, I'm going to be typing in glass and be like, <laughs> why the hell is this not working? Um, uh, all right. So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, so this whole thing right here, right, right. Oh, no. So this is the whole... Okay, so these are all individually done this way. So we don't want this to be home. Last name, uh, Navlink Active. Navlink. All right, Felix. Thank you for the support, buddy. Have a good uh, rest of your evening. Happy Thanksgiving fallout. Yeah. That. That's a great term. I actually enjoy that. There you go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Felix, seriously, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the subbies. Thank you just for you being you. I didn't delete glass it, by the way. I know. I was just messing with you, bro. Yeah, well, I almost did just to fuck with you. You should have. <laughs> I would have had more content for next stream to yell at you about. <laughs> <laughs> you got to think of these things. Yeah, um, all right, so these are each going to be nav items. Word. That makes sense. Class nav link active. Class nav link item drop down. Indicates the element that represents the current item within the container or set of related elements. There's, there's the chat. There's like quite a bit that I'm going to need to like sit down probably off stream and really hammer my head into uh, just getting oriented with this. But I feel like, you know, I guess the big question is, is realistically, how do I wire one of these bad boys up into, hmm. So how do we want to do it? Do we want to... Uh, how do they do it with their drop-down? Let's actually take a look. Individual click, loads the next page. Um, so realistically, maybe this panel is... Uh, yeah. yeah, this panel should still do what I want to do. So I would like click the first button here, which would be our... Uh, create list button, for instance, let's say. We would click it. It would open up to this screen. Um, basically close that. It would give us our create list, or I guess maybe... I guess I'm going to really just have to sit down and figure out how I want this all to flesh out and look. I know we're not going to want a search bar, at least for this. Which, um, that's all the drop down there. So that's the search button there. That can go. Um, yep, okay. So make sure I didn't script that last form. Um, well, actually, we want to get rid of that whole form because that's the search bar. Yep, all right. Drop down is still there. Um, I guess we can, are we going to want to drop down for anything? Mm. No, because I want the, like the actual pages to be, we'll have these buttons, not through the navigation. So, yeah, okay. All right, so I guess the what would we what would we want the actual homepage to look like for this? Um, maybe the current list. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking a little way too much into this chat, and I might just delete this whole nav bar thing that gave us a bunch of bullshit. Nine times out of ten, when you are thinking that, you are correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's make this a little bit easier. Here's a question: Do you need the nav bar right now? No. What do you need? I just need buttons that are gonna make shit work. Well. Realistically, that's what we need. We just need a couple buttons. 
Now we just need to start plugging stuff in and making it work, and then we can make it look pretty. There you go. So, oh my God, he's trying to do that. I'm shut so up. Proud. <laughs> Our little boy's growing up, chat. Vertical variation. There we go. So let me just, let me see some buttons. Show me your buttons. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get rid of one of them. I believe we only need four. I think I'm like completely triggering USMC check here. You're not using React Bootstrap? What is that something very particular that I should have looked into? Oh, thank you, BG. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? There's like a hundred other people here right now. Listen, I'm sorry, I forgot. There's like a hundred other people here right now. If none of you guys forgot it and Beans was the only one, somebody I'm gifting you a sub for that one. <laughs> forgot i totally blanked on react bootstrap dude. all right guys so scrap that, this whole stream that's my bad i'm um, giving you a i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a sub for that one yes you, yeah no beans is entirely a hundred thousand and ten percent correct you should be using the react variant of it uh because it will enable you to use the components that already have javascript rack wrapped around them. yeah that's kind of what i when we discussed it earlier <laughs> okay and shut I, the fuck up for I starters that's all right what I, this would I, be like and then when you're like no you gotta add this and this i'm like oh god this is not dog what it I has been a minute since i have written front ends okay and i don't normally use bootstrap because it sucks <laughs> but like in this case it's a total valid reason to using it so yeah you want to so, use react bootstrap Sorry about that. You're going to want to basically undo everything. Just... Even like the create react shit? No, no, no. So just remove the npm install for bootstrap. Uh, remove and just like the HTML that you added. Okay. Um, this is, this, this, this is, this is, this is. Quality. I can literally remove it all. I, I don't think I'll have problems. So Yeah. And go to your HTML file that you have and get rid of this one. The fuck did you just do? Go on now, get. He's outside. Oh. Mm hmm. This one. Right. Now, are you going It will eventually get there. Beans, thank you. Yeah, that deserved a free sub. I fucked that one up. <laughs> <laughs> we got the second person saying use invite today. Okay. Well, that was that was fun. Um Yeah, the school of BG strikes again. But see, here's the funny thing, chat. These are the moments that like I won't forget now moving forward.
All right, npm install react dash bootstrap. Bootstrap. You getting hungry, BG? I am. I don't know what I'm thinking. I think I'm still wanting a burger. Alright, if you plan on customizing the bootstrap SAS files and don't want to use the CDN for the style sheet, it may be helpful to install vanilla bootstrap as well. We'll skip that. Importing components. You should import individual components like React dash bootstrap forward slash button rather than the entire library. Doing so pulls in only the specific components that you use, which can significantly reduce the amount of code uh, you end up sending to the client. That makes sense. Okay, so no, don't 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 do that. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk, Firefox. Get in your place. Thank you. Um, all right, let's actually get back to here. All right, so what I I guess I I guess the index.js is where we would do all of our imports though, right? Button. No, not there. We want to do all the imports on the actual app itself. Okay. Import button and um actually you just need to get with the other Firefox team and but trying to be such a loner. There you go. We'll go back here. Let's grab just our buttons here. And... Okay. Interestingly enough, it doesn't make them be vertical, though. Oh. That's not right either. We did something wrong. You don't need to you don't need to paste the buttons HTML inside of your div app. You're learning about components. Oh, that's right. We're doing React shit. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, bitch. It's easy to get confused, huh? <laughs> Considering I've never done it before. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense for me to get confused. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. Sorry. All right. So that does make sense, though. So let's see. Uh, we provide React, J, Bootstrap, JS, and React, but in the bundles with all the components exported from the window, uh, these, uh, okay, hang on. All right, these are alerts, links, additional content, just missing. Um... Buttons. And I see we actually have a capital. I see. Okay, so we'll do something like this. Um, all right, so button, variant. If we can type. Variant. Um, we'll do yeah, outline primary. And we'll call this uh, game list. And we'll close it with a bootin. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Neato. And I guess my... 
button tags. Normally, button components uh, will render HTML buttons element. However, you can render whatever you'd like. Adding the href prop will automatically render. Okay. All right, chat. I'm just scrolling through, looking at what all we've got here. There we go. Um. I guess my biggest question is, is how... Do I start connecting things in? Uh, Nikolai, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I'm typo in my variant. Uh, oh, thank you. That's a good call. That's why I didn't look. That's why the button doesn't look the way it's supposed to. Right? I'm so bad at typing sometimes. Okay. Interesting. You good? Hmm? Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Are you missing a CSS import? Yeah, I'm I'm just finding the import right here. Oh, and is it completely filled because oh no. That's still not giving me sorry if I just blinded the hell out of you guys. Oh, because we just did primary, we didn't do primary outline. Okay. Uh Uh, we'll close that since we're not using that and not confuse the ever-living hell out of myself, which we will if we kept that open. It's what we do around here. Olean, thank you for the follow. Welcome to you. Alright, so we go here, we go back to buttons. Um, yeah, it's just outline dash, right? We'll just go ahead and just make what we're looking for. Yep, cool. That makes sense. Okay, so I guess my big question now is, again, is how am I going to connect the two together and see that it works? Okay, here we go. Let's look at the example they give us. Hmm, I don't know, Chad, I think this might be, this might be a moment where I'm going to need to just step away and sit down and just start, you know, taking a deeper look myself and, uh, coming back next stream and we can actually start working on stuff. Yeah, I mean, you're basically at where we normally stop. Yeah, we're about at, uh, well, yeah, three and a half hours. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to need to do. I think we're going to need to sit down, um, like I'm done with all the other streams. We get to a point where I feel like I kind of, I'm... I get a little lost, and I need to better for familiarize myself with everything. And, you know, for the sake well, of... Go hold ahead. on. I don't think that's the right assumption. Um, to be fair, what I think you're really going through is the fact that you... you This isn't like muscle memory for you like it is for someone like me, you know? Right. Um, it's not so much even understanding. I mean, I know people who understand this very well, but it's it's, you know, being able to jump back and forth. Like, front end's really tough because, like you're juggling the browser you're juggling style you're juggling three like languages essentially which aren't really languages you're juggling you know html you're juggling css you're juggling javascript you're trying to tie all of these things together um, and then you're also trying to you know make it connect to a back end and communicate with that back end and things like that so like it's understandable for you to sli slightly slow down a bit here i think the main things you want to take away from just like what you're looking at now is how styling works with bootstrap right right and then how components work with bootstrap you know i want a button cool how can i just copy this and know that when i copy it and paste it in it's just going to work exactly the way i want yeah i mean that's kind of what i'm getting at i need to like sit down and just like brief myself on how we need to move forward with building this and I think, you know, I think we're, I mean, we, we, we took a lot of steps today to get to the point to realize where we need to be at, which was nice. Shout out to Beans. Yeah. But, um, yeah, guys, I think, and, and plus I'm getting hangry. Like, I'm just going to be a complete, like, on stream if I don't eat soon, so. And I'd rather take it out on you, BG, off stream and not <laughs> against chat, so. Fair uh, enough, fair <laughs> enough. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see if we can find somebody right here. 
feel the same way, Tota. Don't beat yourself up. I'm trying to do to override a form with a custom one, and it's still breaking it. So down to yeah, that's legit. Like that's that's where I feel like I'm at. Like I I feel accomplished for what we've done so far today, mentally, um, and just even like where the project is as a whole. You have to know where. Like I'm gonna give this advice to literally every person in here, whether you've been doing this for like 30 years or 30 seconds. You have to know when to step away so that you are excited about coming back. Right. If you run yourself into the ground and then you walk away from it and then you're like, oh, this sucks. It's going to be even harder to pick it up. So like what Ato is doing is actually really good because he's respecting himself so that his mental thought and like mental perspective around it when he comes back isn't just negative. And honestly, that negative thought is like part of the problem, especially when you're learning. Oh yeah, no, and that's like 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 I said, like I wanna I, I want to have that clean. Um, oh, you know what? I just realized something. That didn't work, but I think it worked after the fact. I yeah, I wanna I wanna yeah I I I I've noticed this pattern that I'm doing as well, chat has worked well for me to where like what what we did today we talked a lot out we 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 went spelunking through documents we did some code we kind of i have a good picture now moving forward of what i need to study and bring back to you guys next time for us to actually develop something whereas there's been a couple times where you know we'll get on stream and i think i have a good idea of where we're headed and i realize oh we did not research the right thing and we're gonna have to do this on the fly so mm -hmm. Where we're at now, I think I have a good idea of what I need to do. I'm gonna probably end up creating some tickets here in the in in, in our board and uh, sit down and work on it over the next week and um, be ready to stream. And honestly, I'm I would wouldn't mind trying to do a night stream this week. I should you know knock on wood should have an easy week at work. I'm gonna say that now and I'm just gonna be just just inundated with BS. So knock on wood, knock on chat. I got somebody we can raid. There's somebody new we haven't raided before yet either. I think. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, they're working on a Discord bot, which obviously that's stuff we do. So I think we should raid them. All right, well, we'll give them a raid. Chat, I do want to do a couple different things. That disembodied voice you're hearing, if you guys are new to the stream, because we do have a bunch of new faces today, that is BG. We are a co-hosted stream between the two of us. Um, I am on the weekends and hopefully in the evenings here soon doing uh i'm just learning you know this is my first project ever i am just getting you know my foot into the water so so to speak with all of this and then you have the juxtaposition during the week in the mornings with bg who's been in the industry for over a decade now so you can catch my weekend streams like i said uh usually around 1 p.m pacific standard and if we do do the night streams it's probably going to be anywhere between 6 and 7 p.m pacific standard starting time just because of how my schedule is with work but you can catch BG Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays usually between the starting hours of 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. So keep that in mind. Um, if you guys are not already uh, joined in the Discord, especially with all of our new friends and faces out there, we would love to see you guys there. Anything that happens off stream, this is where we hang out. This is where we announce everything. It is a great place to keep in touch with the stream, but it's also a great place to ask questions or just to hang out and, and have a good time. We do have a couple of mods devoted to your questions at all times. And if you take a gander here, bring it on over. Look at all the kitties. was not expecting kitties here. That was great. Uh, you can ask questions here and in tech and anywhere else. And we have a couple other, you know, other channels that, um, you know, aren't, aren't tech related. You know, we have gaming, fitness. We have a book club. I, I need to read more. I don't have time for the book club, unfortunately. So that's why we have our wonderful souls like Akira who take care of it for us. Um, also... We have social media so we can watch us try to figure out how Twitter works. And the more important thing that we're on is the YouTube. I want you guys to take a look at the YouTube. Um, we have two particular YouTubes. The main one there is our curated videos that BG's been making. Um, they're a little more detailed than uh, and focused than like a live stream. And then the second one you have is the archives page, which is where all of our VODs go um, after they get off Twitch. So if you guys missed a stream or want to go back and look at something that we did, or you're like, damn it, we said something, there is a repository for you guys to find it. So um, we would love for you all to check that out and subscribe to both because we want both of them to grow. And um, 
yeah, I think that's all my talking points. I think we're going to get a good raid in. And if I don't see you guys before next weekend, I do appreciate all the love, all the follows, all the subbies, and just all the assistance today. You guys have been amazing. And hopefully next week, we'll actually be building out the front end as opposed to trying to figure out how to build out the front end. We'll be, we'll be doing more than just a little button. We'll have, we'll have more than just this little guy next time, I, I hope. No, we will. We will. I promise. All right, chat. I will see you guys next week. Much love. And, um, yeah, if you guys have got those raid hype emotes, spam the hell out of who we're going to. So it's always been fun to just take over the chat for a minute. But, uh, if I don't see you guys before next Saturday, um, I'll see you next Saturday. And you guys should see BG. Uh, you're going to be a Monday morning, right? Yep. Uh, if all goes well, you know. So he'll be there. And just keep an eye out, chat, and the Discord. If not, we'll see you soon. Peace, love. Oh, let me get the raid started. <laughs> Bye. All right, let me get the raid started. All right, hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm raiding it. All right, we're going to raid Techie Girl, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to go raid Techie Girl. I'm I'm taking over the stream now. <laughs> Tota. It's a BG stream hey! for the next three seconds until the raid goes through. <laughs> oh, God, my microphone just fell. Oh, man. Karma just slapped you like a <laughs> Okay, bye chat. Enjoy the raid.